Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh dan salam sejahtera uh, to all audience. Okay, uh, I am Siti Nur Hidayah Arifin, uh, the moderator for session two of today's event, which is Guide to Publishing Papers in Corpus Channel. Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you for joining us today, uh, which will be. We are totally honored to have you here in this room. Okay, um, before I pass this, the session to our speaker, uh, technologist Dr. Lukman Hakim, uh, let me give a short brief of his interesting background. Okay, uh, technologist Dr. Lukman Hakim is a senior lecturer in Faculty of Mechanical and Automa Automotive uh, Engineering Technology at University, to, uh, University Malaysia Pahang, UMP, sorry. Uh, and um, He's been working at UMP since 20, uh, 2010. Uh, it's been like uh, almost all around uh, 15 years, right, uh, doctor? Okay, and for the educational background, uh, technologist Dr. Lukman Hakim has done his PhD at University of Waterloo in Canada. And uh, he finished a master's and a bachelor degree in mechanical engineering at Tohoku University in Japan. Right, doctor? Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> last, uh, his current research interests uh, are friction steel, uh, steel welding, laser welding, and all re uh, related to welding research. Is it correct? Uh, yes. <laughs> okay, I think uh, if anyone anyone here in this room uh, have a similar research interest with uh, Dr. Lukman, I think uh, after this, you can contact uh, him for maybe for collaboration, for networking or guide uh, purposes. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, we need to uh, strengthen or widen our research and networking, right? Okay, uh, so uh, without further ado, um, I would like to welcome uh, Dr. Uh, our speaker, uh, technologist Dr. Lukman Hakim bin uh, Ahmad Shah, um, to, to give, uh, to share the knowledge uh, regarding the guide to publishing papers in Corpus Journal. Okay, um, Dr. Please, and the room now is yours. Thank you. Okay, uh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Dino Hidayah. Uh, Assalamualaikum, salam sejahtera, salam Ramadan uh, to all. Um, I, I'm very honored to be uh, uh, given the chance uh, by FTK UTHM for this uh, talk. Uh, and given that this is the second uh, session, uh, as a kecil perut juga lah bila dengar uh, kan, apa, Prof. Uh, uh, apa? Syukri, Prof. Syukri bagi bagi tadi kan, uh, so uh, jauh beza lah kan langit dengan bumi kan. Tapi uh, I, I really hope uh, I can give um, ni lah some uh, good uh, input, uh, uh, share some good input with you for uh, this evening. Before I open my slide, uh, can I get some uh, feeling of the the audience here? Um, first of all, I would like to know is there any uh, non Malay speaking audience in the uh, in our Zoom meeting today. Yeah, so I know that boleh tak rojak-rojak ke or, um, or I need to go full English. <laughs> okay, yes, one, I'm from all this. Oh, okay. I'm from all uh, this. No problem, uh, Mr. Halil. Uh, but um, excuse me if, if I, I, I'll be using a little bit of uh, Malay. Uh, my slides will be in uh, English, fully English. So I, I, uh, I don't think you won't have any issues with the, the gist of the information I'll be giving you. Uh, otherwise, uh, another thing I would like to also know, um, the audience uh, right now, is it mainly uh, students or um, uh, or lecturers or, or staff members in imitation? Uh, can can you type some comments there? Uh, whether you're a student and where are you from? This uh, student from UTH Anchor or staff from uh, somewhere else? Ke? Oh, from Saudi. Okay, nice. Welcome. Okay. Maldives, all right.
A, some are from UM, uh, good to see. IIUM students. Uh, so I take it most of it, most of the, the participants are students, yes. Uh, actually, I would be much more glad if uh, the, the majority of the participants are students because what I'll be sharing with you are basics uh, to some uh, to uh, advance uh, to a certain level. Uh, but I really think you can get a lot of uh, very good information uh, based from my uh, experience and my own journey of um, uh, doing my PhD. As uh, Dr. Siti Mandaya mentioned, uh, I did my master, degree master's in, in Japan. Uh, I did my PhD in Canada. Also, uh, between that, I, I did five years uh, of, uh, of uh, lecturing in UMP. So I would say my um, research experience uh, has gone through you know Malaysia, Japan, and also uh, Canada. And throughout the few years uh, I've been doing this, uh, I've, picked, uh, I've picked some gems from uh, these countries. So uh, all of you are actually very lucky. I think uh, what you'll be hearing, uh, maybe if you go to Canada, you might experience some, and then uh, in Japan, you experience some. So this kind of like a Mendeley of uh, information that uh, you, you will get. Um, some you know very useful and I, I'm saying this because I, I I also went to workshops uh, during those times uh, so sometimes I get one very gold, uh, gold nugget I would say uh, and that really helped me with my general uh, experience uh, general writing and whatnot so uh, allow me to uh, share my slides uh, I'm really glad, really glad that uh, most of you are uh, the majority are students but for if you are a staff. Uh, of course, uh, I also welcome. Uh, uh, please uh, forgive me if a little bit uh, basic on what I'm trying to say. But uh, otherwise, uh, if any overlapping with the, what the professor just uh, now mentioned in the, in the morning session, then uh, uh, take it as, as if it's a, an important uh, point. So he, if he mentioned it, I mentioned it, then uh, I mean, uh, we have common ground that that is an important point to, uh, to be sharing with you. Okay, uh, I'll share my slide here. Okay, can you see? Okay, Mr. Uh, sorry, uh, Doctor Siti uh, Nuria. Yes, Doctor. Uh, okay. Nampak. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So, um, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So, the the title. Uh, DTSM uh, invited me to give is regarding guiding a uh, guide to publish paper in Scopus Journal. Um, you will see that I, I won't be really talking specifically for uh, Scopus Journal, and I will be also make, mixing with uh, web of science. Uh, the reason being, uh, you will see, uh, I'll, I'll explain later, because um, web of science is uh, much more highly regarded in a sense, maybe a little bit more uh, compared to Scopus Journals. So uh, I would like you to have a uh, very uh, how do you say rich for the stars mindset so you have uh, you aim for higher uh, quality and then in case that you, know, you, you cannot penetrate uh, walls then maybe a scopus you know is also uh, very good okay uh, so uh, please bear that in mind if you don't see like why am i talking like too general uh, it's because i want you to uh, have this uh, mindset of you know uh, target for the best, uh, but uh, if you cannot, maybe uh, there's a famous saying: uh, "Reach for the moon. If you cannot reach it, then you will land among the stars. So if you cannot reach the moon, then you get stars. <laughs> but if you target very low, then maybe uh, you won't get anything. So that's uh, the gist of what I'm trying to um, mention here. Okay. Uh, some more questions before I introduce a little bit more about myself. Uh, do you, can you, uh, I, I would like this to be a two-way communication as well. So uh, if you can summarize, what, why, why the hype about wars and scopus? Why most universities, especially in Malaysia, are very particular is talking about, okay, is your paper in wars journal, wars index journal or scopus index journal? Any idea? We'll discuss, of course, but uh, just, you know, uh, it's the evening of Ramadan, so I understand. Maybe a little bit. Uh, okay. I think if anyone have the idea, uh, you can yeah you can write in the chat box sure, or yeah. directly yeah open mm -hmm. your mic. 
Oke. Okay. Uh, there is. Oh, yeah. uh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, oh, Miss Ramaiza. I I know her personally. Uh, Miss Mrs. Haryanti also. Thank you. Thank you for the book. Uh, I'll mention that as well after this. Um, Caribbean journals. Okay. For you want and more quality. Okay. That's nice. Uh, quality is a yeah really nice keyword I want to uh, emphasize after this. Okay, uh, next question. Okay, let's say you have this situation. You have general A, whatever general is. You have general A, the impact factor IF is 1.3, uh, and the quartile is uh, 1, okay, Q1 quartile. You know this um, from facts or, or I know from, from a friend or something. But uh, general B is impact factor 4.2, but the, the quartile is 2. So you can see impact factor A is lower compared to B, but quartile, uh, the, the quartile uh, A is 1 and B is 2. If you were given the choice, like maybe the, the, it's like you send them and you will be, be published. Right? So which would you choose first? General A or general B? Any guess? General A, okay. Anyone else want to try? Okay. okay. Anyone else? Maybe one or two? Depends on time provision. Okay, uh, let's go. Okay, let's say, let's say everything, everything else is similar, just the, the difference between IF and also quarter. Q1 general, Q2, okay, general B. Oh, interesting. So we have uh, contradiction, <laughs> very common in, in literature, right? So it's good. Uh, we'll, we'll see after this. I'll be talking about this kind of things. Uh, maybe uh, for seniors, or maybe if your doctorate is already you know, given to you to, to answer this. But uh, I think for students, it's very important for you to understand this uh, because, uh, it, you know, um, uh, you you don't want to make a mistake of you know, choosing uh, not the right one. Uh, okay, another one. This uh, might be a little bit uh, painful to admit. <laughs> Your paper been rejected by journals or journal. Now before you you admit, uh, I'll admit myself. I've been rejected many times. In fact, kalau dengar the the uh, professor should be mentioned uh, this morning as well. I did have before my class. I did had a chance around uh, thirty minutes to to uh, hear him talk. Yeah, he mentioned also like he got rejected a lot of times, even though he's already you know uh, well uh, professor already, even Nobel Peace uh, Nobel Prize winners also being rejected by journals as well. So um, if anything, if you already been have been rejected before, don't don't worry. Like, it's it's, uh, it's it's common. Uh, it, it's something uh, you don't need to really. Uh, uh, feel bad about uh, everybody goes through this, and uh, I hope you you, you can uh, understand that. And also, how do I detect predatory journals? So there are a lot of um, what we call as predatory journals. If you have never heard of this uh, before, then really you really need to uh, uh, understand what are uh, predatory journals and how to avoid this. So if uh, you, you don't know how to detect, then I'll also mention it. Yes, any, any you, you want to uh, answer that one? No? Okay. <laughs> and uh, this is uh, what we, I would say the elephant in the room. Uh, it's been here for a few months, but it's taking the world by storm. So also the acad academia world. So uh, I would like, uh, this is the first time actually, uh, I've done a lot of talks like this, but this is the first time I'm going to talk about ChatGPT. So is, is it okay to use ChatGPT for your writing? So I uh, will discuss that as well. Okay, uh, a little bit on, of my uh, intro. Uh, my name is Lutman Hakim uh, As mentioned before, uh, I graduated my, uh, for bachelor's and master's in Japan. I did my uh, lecturer job for five years before continuing with my PhD um, in Canada. So you now it's been uh, as a UMP uh, staff. I've been here since 2010, so around 12, 13 years. My current interest is uh, mechanical materials engineering and friction steel welding as well as uh, laser welding, mainly uh, friction steel welding. So anybody uh, who are 
in that field, I'm very happy to discuss with you. Uh, but I also would like to highlight that my current, uh, currently I'm a lecturer in UMP and I only have one uh, postgraduate supervision. So uh, I don't have any uh, students who uh, masters or PhD students who are graduated under me. Uh, I don't have any PhD students. This is a uh, one uh, sole uh, master student under me. So you might have this feeling, okay, uh, why should I listen to you then? <laughs> uh, I'm not a professor. I'm, I'm not an um, associate professor even. So why should I listen to this guy? Uh, I, I've never heard of his name anyway. Uh, but I'll give you a little bit uh, about my uh, experience in terms of academia. Uh, so during my time, uh, two years uh, of my master's uh, in Japan, it wasn't really emphasized upon uh, writing articles. So in the end, uh, I, gradu I graduated with one article and even that it wasn't compulsory. It was just like voluntary, the supervisor, my supervisor say, okay, you uh, send uh, this article. So I'm just sending, uh, it's not, it's not really a target of the graduation. So if, uh, in fact, uh, the, the paper was published after graduation. So it wasn't uh, a requirement for my master's graduation. However, when I come back to Malaysia, I see that uh, all the, there's a hype, especially in Malaysia, right? Uh, about uh, writing papers, writing papers, writing journal, uh, worst index paper, uh, Scopus index uh, journals, things like that. So I realized that if I want to pursue my PhD during my time here, I would like, I need to really improve and uh, you know practice and go to workshops. Uh, so any workshop that I, I can find in, in particularly in UMP, uh, free workshops or uh, voluntary work like uh, conference, so they have uh, reviewers, right? So they ask, hey, anybody want to become a reviewer? I volunteer. I just want to improve, and then I see it from other papers. I uh, okay, I see the the template. I see the the how they structure the uh, general articles and things like that. So I really um, did uh, improve a lot uh, of my um, general article writing. So during my four years uh, PhD in Canada, Alhamdulillah, uh, it wasn't my initial target, uh, to, but uh, I overshoot it to nine uh, Q1, Q2 articles, uh, including six articles that I co-authored. Co so uh, the environment that I was in was really encouraging. Uh, so uh, initially I wanted to, you know, uh, my friends uh, around me, the, the colleagues, around five or six uh, articles published. So that was my like uh, benchmark. So I said, oh, I have to uh, publish uh, this much. But Alhamdulillah, I got more than that. Uh, partly because I also add in uh, review, uh, review papers and things like that. So what I wanted to share uh, today is uh, regarding article writing strategies, the lessons that I learned through my uh, maybe around 10 more uh, 10 years of more experience in publishing reviewing manuscripts. Uh, even though I'm, I'm showing you this, uh, it's not to uh, to give you any shock. So if you are like a, in the fir your first semester, second semester, or even like the third semester, uh, I, I do I, I do hope that this is not uh, scaring you away. I know oh, nine nine articles. Uh, how is impossible for me? Uh, uh, it's not your target. Uh, so I don't. Uh, I mean, if uh, you are only targeting what the university wants, like one or two articles, then uh, by all means, just target that. I don't need to target more. In my case, it was kind of a, like me enjoying the, the article writing. So, uh, bukala, it's not my, my supervisor never talked about, I you know, publish paper, publish paper like that, uh, but mainly it's just from my own uh, initiative. Uh, I like this quote. Uh, I, when I first uh, saw it, I, I keep it till now in my mind. I don't compare your beginnings with someone else's middle. So this is me after graduation. Uh, so all these articles. If you already uh, just uh, starting, right, uh, trying to get some literature review done, don't worry about uh, you know uh, these numbers. Okay? You are not uh, you are not being fair to yourself if you are comparing what I uh, I'm achieving uh, with your current situation. Okay, so I hope you don't get scared away by me telling you this. And uh, the some of the the uh, participants here know that. I, I don't really go, you know, uh, using a very high language. I'll, I'll, be, I'll go through uh, step by step and then you will see that uh, once you know the template, you know the, the way to do it, then it shouldn't be uh, that uh, difficult to publish in uh, Scopus or even uh, worse journals. Okay, uh, a little bit, uh, I want to introduce um, 
my book here. Uh, it's been around maybe like three weeks ago or four, uh, yeah, less than one month, I think. Um, I uh, I have a group, uh, I'll show you a Facebook group, uh, Facebook group that I uh, just, uh, before I graduated, I started that. Um, I start writing there, uh, just sharing knowledge regarding um, HD as a whole and also uh, article writing. Uh, and uh, the article got, you know, um, uh, I compiled and said, oh, can, this can be a book. And then I um, sort it out and uh, end up uh, like around one month ago, this book was published, Alhamdulillah. And this is mainly uh, really trying to help. Uh, this is me uh, writing from the heart, really trying to help the, especially the, the uh, Malaysian students uh, with regards to article general writing. Uh, unfortunately, it's in Malay. I don't know if unfortunately, unfortunately for, for foreigners, I, I think, but uh, like fortunately it's Malay for, for the uh, Malaysian. So uh, if you are interested, then you can go to the uh, link there. Uh, I will give you the link uh, to this as well if you want. Um, so you can, uh, and mainly the, the information I'll be giving you today is uh, coming from this book. So all the information actually I've compiled and put in this book and more, right? Uh, I cannot uh, cover all the information in the book, but hopefully a lot of it will be covered today. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank you, Mrs. Uh, Aiman. All right. Uh, some disclaimer. Belum masuk lagi. Some disclaimer uh, and points to note. I'm sharing from a fresh PhD graduate perspective, so it's totally different from what maybe a uh, professor. Well, uh, not exactly. Uh, I would say totally different, but uh, different from what uh, Professor Shukri was uh, mentioning today because. Uh, this is me trying to explain as a you know, fresh graduate, not a supervisor uh, having supervised and, and graduated a lot of students. No, this is me as a just finish, uh, finishing my PhD. So all the information or the, all the experience I, I went through, I want to share with you. Okay. I was the one who got rejected. I was the one who, kalau orang in Malaya, temenung, macam orang bau putus tunang, dia kena reject. And then um, I was the one who stayed up late to uh, write the articles. Right? So uh, most of the things I'm saying here yeah, as a first author, not uh, as a supervisor, supervising uh, students. Second, uh, my research scope is in science and engineering, uh, specifically for mechanical engineering. So if you are, uh, especially your, your staff or student in UTSM, I think you, really, you will benefit a lot of this. But if you are social science or you know, outside of uh, science and engineering, don't worry, uh, this is going to go to basic first. Maybe around 30 minutes, I'll spend looking at the overall view of the general universe, I would say, and then uh, we go uh, into more detail. Okay, a lot of info is uh, online. Um, but this is from my own experience. So uh, from my own experience and my own understanding. So um, I humbly ask if there is any you know, um, corrections. Uh, you, you know I'm wrong, so please uh, uh, mention it. I, know, uh, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't mind. I, maybe I'll correct it afterwards. Okay. That being said, uh, this is what I'll be covering basically. So um, why I should, uh, should I publish? What is quartile uh, regarding predatory neurons? Uh, how to write a good paper, what is worse as uh, corpus index journals and publication process. So some of you may see this kind of rudimentary or elementary uh, why we're talking about uh, worse as corpus index journals. So, but um, my hope is that there is some you know, um, newbies here uh, who just uh, registered for masters or PhD so they don't know this uh, universe of uh, you know, general uh, article writing world. So I'll introduce you to this. So I hope you, you bear that in mind. Okay, uh, as an introduction, uh, why should I care to publish? Uh, of course, it's a requirement for the reputation. Most of universities in Malaysia that I know of, uh, maybe one scopus is needed, or if uh, are you university, research university, and maybe like one, words or two words, I'm not really sure. And there's a mantra, they call it publish or perish. Then. I, I like one uh, mantra uh, by Professor Shahrum from uh, UKM. Yeah, from uh, UKM, he mentioned before in a workshop, he said uh, the Malay one is a uh, terbit or to be. Terbit or to be, uh, to be uh, slang. Uh, uh, I meaning keluar. <laughs> so either you uh, publish or you get out. 
kind of a harsh even public affairs i think is kind of a harsh word but that's the reality if you don't uh, show that you've not proven that you can publish then maybe uh, you won't uh, um, it, it's difficult to to graduate right another thing about uh, publication is making it official so even though you've been doing 20 years of work but if you don't publish it you don't uh, make it official then um, people uh, people will maybe um, uh, potong you and uh, they, they, they will uh, publish first and they can claim uh, i did it first uh, he even though uh, you claim lah, kan, uh, 20 years ago i did it over uh, it doesn't matter he published first it's official now then he's the one right okay so uh, this is particularly important if you're in science and engineering but it's a very fast-paced um, uh, kind of field so if you don't uh, Published uh, initially, then uh, you won't claim novelty earlier. So that kind of especially for PhD, yeah, is kind of risky. And you don't show that you're you're uh, trying to finish the study, and suddenly someone also doing this exact same uh, title uh, and publish. So then suddenly you uh, you have to defend. You saying, okay, actually I, I'm also doing this, and can you do the video and things like that. So. Um, You'll need to uh, publish because of this. You can claim novelty earlier on, especially for you know, like AI, like that. So, only a few months, that another thing. So, really fast pace. Um, so, if you have data, you think it's publishable already, then I really strongly encourage you to publish. Terus lah. Jangan tunggu tunggu dua tahun lagi ke apa kan. This is one I really like. Actually, you get your actually get, if you go to like peer reviewed journals. Yang lagi-lagi uh, uh, specific lagi bagus lah. You you go very uh, deeper into the, the field and right? that kind of journals. Then you get free reviews from an expert in your field. Uh, so that's why uh, even though memang sakit lah, you 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 rasa memang uh, ni lah kan, uh, apa makati <laughs> when you get uh, very uh, ni long uh, comments and things like that. But it it will really polish your work. Right? And you will polish your work. You uh, you see okay, ni kelompongan. This is where I need to polish my work. Uh, this is where I need to add more. And so you get uh, free reviews. Just bear in mind, bila kena reject ni, bukan ni maksudnya it doesn't bear any effect to your uh, PhD. Eh? Uh, so let's say kalau kena reject seratus kali sekali pun tak masuk dalam CV ataupun your your ni kan thesis. Okay, this guy will be at the hundred times. Eh? But from that rejection, usually. Usually reviewers, if you want, they want to review, uh, review and reject. They have to um, give comments. They say reject, but it's uh, They cannot just say, oh, sampah, sampah. Tak boleh. Eh? Reviewer have to say, okay, I reject because ni tak cukup ke ni lack of this, this, this. Kan? So uh, even though you get rejected, you also get very valuable feedback. Kan? Uh, think of it as like a mini viva lah. Kan? So you get feedbacks, you polish it, and then when you invite one, then you get uh, get better at um, uh, editing. Okay, make it easy to for compiling thesis. Uh, this was my uh, own experience in my university. Uh, please you know, uh, look in your university, but uh, in my university is okay for you to compile your papers and make it into the thesis. So just yeah, lah, can compile and uh, send. Uh, so mention lah, this is the paper. This chapter is from uh, which papers member, and the you don't really need to uh, paraphrase. This is um, the the university in my uh, my my university style in Canada. Uh, you have to look in uh, Malaysia if that's also possible. That's good. Even though tak possible, you have to paraphrase. Pun tak ada masalah. You already have uh, the idea. And you know the idea is already polished, uh, already reviewed by a reviewer. Kan? Uh, trust me, during the final year tu memang a lot of fatigue. Uh, uh, nak muak ada tengok nak nak muntah tengok data data kita kan. So during that time tu, it really helped. You will your future self will thank you because you uh, yeah, did this earlier on and you published earlier so you can just copy uh, so called copy paste uh, uh, from the journal to uh, your journal article to the thesis uh, this one uh, i mentioned before so it's a booster for your uh, bio presentation thesis uh, once you, you you become more confident uh, you already it's already been published especially to one to three two and then uh, you know it's a nila quality lah, eh? quality punya article, quality punya uh, experiment and uh, research. So you become more confident in Viva. If you don't publish up to the Viva stage, nanti you you become insecure lah, macam betul ke tak kan. Uh, sometimes, yelah, supervisor mungkin kata bagus-bagus lah, tapi end up uh, if you don't put it, uh, ni kan, uh, apa, 
put your name on the line lah uh, in in general uh, publishing tu then uh, you won't know whether it's of good quality or not and one thing uh, as a muslim kan uh, i think uh, it's also good to mention this lah kan if you make a paper article public then um, hopefully uh, it's going to be cited lah kan uh, especially for high impact journals you know, high quality journals it's going to get cited uh, it's going to get re uh, referred uh, i like think of this as uh, ni lah uh, you getting more pahala kan uh, more hasanah lah because you you are um, uh, disseminating uh, knowledge and that knowledge is being picked up by someone and they say oh this is a useful knowledge that's why i'm referring to this guy and this, this article then isn't that not pahala kan uh, sharing knowledge uh, things like that kan so uh, I, i like to see citations also as a my pahala tracker lah kan uh, or, or another person uh, cited my work tu rasa berbunga-bunga lah kan uh, other than rasa uh, our work is appreciated at the same time is a ni lah pahala uh, for me lah insyaAllah and my apa my teachers, my professors, my parents. Okay. Another bonus, uh, this one I didn't expect as well, but when you already publish papers, uh, you will be start, you will start getting invitation to become a reviewer. So just take up the the ni lah, uh, the challenge lah. To me, awal saya pun macam macam sapu lah saya kan. Tapi you remember uh, a lot of paper, uh, good journals they meet up not only one reviewer, so a few reviewers kan. So if it's in your your field. And if it's in your interest, then why not you become a reviewer? And then you can also see, oh, this is how the flow of, uh, ni lah, the work of uh, people done, and, and you become critical. Kalau you uh, uh, read papers, and just uh, uh, paper, and you already psychologically know it's already been reviewed. It's a good quality paper. Oh, it's Q1, uh, it's a good quality paper. And, but once you become a reviewer, your mind switches. You you you're not becoming. Uh, Leader, you're becoming a uh, you know, uh, reviewer, kan? Right? So you will start to see, you will start to criticize, girl, kan? Right? When you start to see comments, you see, oh, uh, I think this is wrong, kan? Right? Uh, so you are trying to become, you, you are starting to become a scholar. That's what uh, I, I really like when uh, during my PhD, so I I get review, uh, and I get requests, uh, I accept them, uh, I accept, and then you you become critical, and that that kind of uh, critical thinking is. Very important for a PhD scholar lah, especially. All right, any questions so far? Uh, okay, I'll, I'll uh, move on. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Kalau kalau saya termis chat ke pada mention ya. Eh? Okay. Uh, okay. 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 Masih saya lihat kan. All right. Uh, just so you know, uh, ini pun from the book. Uh, it was my attempt to give an overall picture lah. If you're uh, really new to this, maybe you'll say, okay, what is this like journal, as to be a uh, scopus like you want, what, what is all this stuff? So, um, I ni lah, uh, experimented and said, okay, this, I think this is the way to, to ni lah. In, a, in, one, in one diagram, how can I explain the uh, general universe? So, you have your research, Okay, you're passionate about re your research, it's very good, and then you convert it to your, your article uh, by good writing and, and uh, you know, polish it and everything, and then you submit to a journal. Okay, this is where the uh, fun starts. Lah, kan? So, in uh, the journal universe, we have journal publishers. You're, I think you're really familiar with uh, Nila Khan, Sevier, Spring, Indawi, Taylor and Francis, uh, Emerald, MDPI, uh, MDPI uh, things like that. Kan? Uh, saja buka situ ya MPN perempuan sikit ya. Ah pada BMP also a, a general publisher uh, for ni lah local punya our local university punya journals. Okay. Uh, look uh, among this uh, LCB yang paling besarlah dia 2700 journals under LCB alone kan memang banyak. Okay. And then you have a lot of journal options kan. Uh, so uh, banyaklah in LCB you have a lot of options, in a lot of options in Dawi and not not among the journals we have uh, levels i would say lah kan? uh, so some are open access and some are non open access some are peer reviewed and non peer reviewed some are indexed and non indexed so index ni meaning the the it uh, uh, qualifies to be in the list of uh, either was or scopus lah. and, uh, so non index maksudnya it's not in the scopus or uh, word of uh, science punya uh, ni lah Okay, in terms of review pula, peer review ni maksudnya you, uh, the, the article itself is already uh, 
ni lah uh, undergo uh, ni lah kan some uh, review comment semua kan uh, in the in the the field lah uh, most of the time is in the same field lah kan so in, in my case mechanical engineering so the reviewer uh, editor will choose a reviewer yang in mechanical engineering field kan uh, kalau tak then it means that uh, it's uh, not reviewed kan uh, so kadang-kadang tu ni yang yang ada red flag ni kan mungkin dia predatory je dia lah uh, dia tak review ah oh, lulus saja kan kita pun berbunga-bunga lah kata oh my article is accepted tapi sebenarnya tak ada peer review so you have to review peer review that one uh, open access and non open access uh, open access meaning kita boleh baca dia lah kan as a reader you can read it for free non open access ni the um, the uh, ni lah the uh, writer the writer of the article tu submit for free tapi yang reader kena bayar Ha, kita kadang tak bayar kan, tapi sebenarnya your university is paying for it. Ha, millions of ringgit uh, every year uh, for, subscri- uh, for subscription to like, LCB ke Spring. Kan, kan. Tapi open access ni meaning you and the writer pay, pay up front uh, and then uh, ni lah, once it's published then uh, anybody can see lah, anybody from the world can see. So uh, yang peer review of course I really uh, highly recommend uh, ni lah kan, peer review, uh, index pun sama. But this one, uh, I reserve lah. Sebab kadang tu open access it doesn't mean uh, it's bad eh. Uh, bukan kata kena bayar tu semua predator dia tu. Okay, uh, we have to ni lah, be fair lah kan. Bukanlah semua yang kena bayar ni dia, dia uh, predator dia tu. But uh, please be aware that ada predator dia tu. Eh? So don't send to this kind of uh, journals. What kind of journal it is, nanti saya akan tunjuk lah. Okay, we see a case study in this. And then uh, another thing is uh, ni lah. Uh, when we talk about wars ke, scopus ke, wars ni used to be uh, ni lah, SI, ISI kan? uh, ISI index, uh, tapi sekarang ni dah jadi uh, wars, uh, uh, web of science I uh, easily can simply put this are uh, quality assurance punya uh, organisation kan? uh, so betul lah tadi bila kata tadi uh, apa, pasal quality and things like that, so if you uh, uh, the the journal is in the list of uh, web of science ataupun in the list of scopus means that journal is uh, it has quality lah uh, dia bukan main-main je kan sebab uh, apa registering journal ni i think it's relatively easy lah bukan susah sangat pun nak nak buat journal sendiri kan journal of lokma hakim ni tak ada masalah rasanya uh, tapi well, uh, whether dalam itu boleh boleh diterima ke tak tu is something else okay any question on this Yeah, oh, letih juga kan tanya soal tu. Okay, uh, I, I want to give you a, uh, ni lah, overall view of apa bezanya antara web of science dengan scopus. Okay, these are two major citation index databases. Uh, simply put macam ni lah, library lah kan, list of uh, ni journals and things like that, go to uh, web of science ataupun scopus. Dia boleh dua-dua, dia boleh pilih satu ataupun dia boleh pilih dua-dua ataupun tak nak langsung kan. Tak nak langsung pun tak, tak ada masalah jenis tu kan, tapi Uh, siapa nak beli, uh, siapa nak siapa nak hantar situ lah kan, uh, that's the issue kan, sebabnya uh, I, I like analog, the analogy I put in the book as well lah kan, pasal ni lah uh, halal jakin, halal uh, majlis ulama Indonesia okay. the reason kita ubah uh, any product minta halal jakin ni dia tak wajib kan, dia tak wajib tak, 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 tapi the reason is, is no, it, it's about marketing lah kan so you know, bila ada chop ni Orang tengok tu orang faham, oh this is halal, uh, it's been checked kan, uh, doctor really check, uh, ingredient semua halal, dia punya facility semua halal, then this is halal. So, tanpa was-was kita makan kan, sama lah uh, untuk majlis ke lemak Indonesia pun, kita orang kata ni ada cok halal. Dua-dua ni tak wajib, tapi orang berubut-ubut uh, nak dapatkan set halal ni kan, uh, sebab dia tahu bila uh, customer tengok halal dia akan ambil. Sama yang macam ni kan, the, when you talk about web of science and scopus ni assume uh, ni lah kita anggap dia macam quality assurance for uh, for journals kan uh, tak wajib masuk kan, you, you have a journal, you, uh, tak wajib pun masuk tapi orang orang flock to uh, walls and scopus because they want uh, this ni lah so called macam boleh tayang lah in, in the website kan okay, this is uh, walls journal, this is scopus journal people see that, oh, orang masuk Uh, so uh, ni lah ada, ada uh, memang ada kesan sangat sangat besar kan even our journal uh, apa internal journal kan uh, dekat UMP ni pun uh, bila bila nampak ada punya data tu bila register in scopus wah dia punya ni kan naik lah uh, 
So uh, there's one paper ni uh, regarding ni lah kan. Sebenarnya dia, dia ada overlap. So some people just want uh, software of science saja, some people want scope saja. Tapi the majority want nak dua-dua. Kan pernah tengok kan produk yang macam tu lah. Kopi ko je macam tu Kopi ko ada dua-dua. Halal Jakim ada, halal uh, Madi Ulama Indonesia lah. Oh, dia memang double halal punya kan. Uh, tapi in this case, uh, maybe, maybe ni lah dia nak nampak yang betul-betul dia punya ni uh, ni lah very good quality kan. Uh, among these two, web of science is more strict and more highly regarded. Uh, tak kata scopus ni not good, not good eh. Uh, that's why bila saya uh, ni kan, uh, the title tu saya, I'm, I'm not really going towards uh, scopus. Uh, I would prefer I sembang ni towards our web of science. So that if apa good quality, hopefully scopus pun tak ada isu lah nak, nak masukkan. Okay. That's one thing I want to uh, clarify. Uh, just be careful uh, in terms of index journals dengan index proceedings different eh. Uh, dia index journals ni uh, kena sebab aku saya saya highlight ni sebab kadang-kadang tu ada juga scopus index proceedings. Uh, dia bukan scopus. Uh, proceeding ni conference lah basically kan. You present a paper in conference. Habis tu mungkin uh, paper in the conference tu masuk dalam proceeding. Kan, dia tulislah scopus index tapi kena make sure dia either is journal or proceeding kalau uh, proceeding selalu rendah sikit lah ni quality compared to journals so journals uh, 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 especially if you you want to you ni lah graduation punya purpose lah kan takut nanti uh, your university tak terima yang proceeding you have to check lah kan uh, dia kata uh, scopus proceeding tak terima uh, satu kot scopus index journal tak boleh satu scop, uh, scopus index proceeding so just be careful there okay Alright, um, saya, uh, I'll go very fast lah on this, uh, why, what is impact factor and size score. Simply put, uh, impact factor ni with regards to WOS punya journal. So if uh, they are already in the list of uh, the WOS tu, uh, in due time they will get impact factor. Okay, uh, so that's the measurement of ni lah, bagus ke tak. So, kan, it's more towards the citation, how uh, apa, how much people cite and things like that. And side, side score pun uh, uh, quite similar tapi ni untuk score first. Okay, impact factor is for web of science, science score is scopus. So this is actually a very fast way for you to know whether that um, journal is uh, ni lah, apa nama, uh, web of science or scopus index. Uh, uh, reliable punya journal lah kan. So dia kata, oh this one uh, scopus ke, scopus index ke tak. Kalau dalam website tu dia tulis, uh, site score dia berapa-berapa kan. Then means that it's scopus index lah. Uh, uh, kalau dia tulis tu impact factor berapa, then means that uh, web of science. Ada dua-dua, means that ni lah, ada dua cok halal tu lah. <laughs> uh, okay. uh, but the calculation is a little bit different lah. So let's just look at uh, impact factor ni. Okay, let's say uh, for 2009, dia nak uh, tahu impact factor for one journal ni, for 2000, sorry, 2019, macam mana? The whole of citation in 2019 divided by the publication of articles plus uh, in 2017 plus the publication in 2018. Uh, okay. uh, so let's say uh, for example, there is 500 publication 2017, 500 publication 2018, and then uh, 2019 there is 1,000 citation from that journal, journal A katakanlah. Uh, so dalam journal A ada 500 article. Uh, this year, this year were 500. This one not the article, the citation. For the citation 2019, ada 1,000. Uh, so 1,000 over 500 ni, uh, you get one, 500 plus 100. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, thank you, Miss uh, Azlina. Eh? Miss Azlina, Hindawi was blacklisted earlier this year by some local university because it was considered as very genuine. Thank you very much for this information. Uh, to be honest, saya tak pernah hantar lah in uh, Hindawi punya uh, ni lah. So, I've not uh, ni lah. I'm selalu main Slipia, Springer and Taylor at Francis. Uh, thank you for the nice information. Uh, and then, sorry. Okay, ah, now, uh, so you can get uh, for for general A tadi, the impact factor for 2009 is uh, 1. Uh, itulah dia punya nilai dia kan, impact factor 1. Uh, so kita ketahu lah sekarang ni, if the impact factor 2, meaning dekat sini lah, yang atas ni banyak. Why, why I'm saying this to you, macam tak penting pun, bukan kita nanti kan. The reason why I'm saying this is because if you if you want to publish a paper, make sure uh, kalau you want to uh, send a paper to a uh, journal, kan, katakanlah you want to target journal A, 
this is Q1 and then, uh, you want to target that make sure dalam reference tu you have a journal A punya citation uh, uh, a paper uh, especially yang 2 years back or 5 years back uh, sometimes uh, editor tengok dekat tu tau uh, so tengok dalam reference nak, nak hantar ke macam ni lah macam you you apa you you, uh, you want to go to someone house but you never mention that, that person before kan so dia kata why kenapa tak tak ni uh, you are, you want to come to my journal but you haven't even uh, cite my ni uh, you see the calculation here means that kalau anda kata you you, you uh, apa uh, you don't cite anything zero citation from that journal kalau kata kalau accepted you are not contributing to the yang atas ni and you are contributing to this one publication kan you are not contributing to the citation bila tak ada citation kat atas ni meaning that Uh, dia punya kalau lagi rendah dan uh, ni dia punya impact factor akan jadi lagi rendah kan. Ah uh, faham tak? Kan so dia publication kita dah 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 contribute kan for that year. Ah uh, tapi the next year tu uh, citation dia tu takkan takkan naik lah. Jadi uh, apa timbal baliknya dia akan jadi lagi rendah. So please give ni lah kan. Uh, at least dua ke kan tiga ke citation from that journal lah. Hopefully is um, organic lah kan. Memang dah sedia ada kat situ. Uh, but how high is size? So sebenarnya uh, when you talk about impact factor kan, so uh, okay, what impact factor should I target? Sebenarnya you don't need to target the impact factor, it's better that you target this quarter. Uh, so I'll explain about quarter pula. Okay, uh, sebab uh, when you understand this, then you understand uh, the, the, ni lah, the how you play the game lah basically. Yeah. Okay, uh, for Wolves and, and Scopus, they have different quarters. Okay, uh, usually, uh, if I'm not mistaken, lah, usually when you talk about okay, uh, we want Q1, kan? usually people are talking about worst may Q1. Sometimes uh, the scopus, maybe that for that particular journal, the same journal, that's what they do, chop, kan? uh, same journal is Q1, but in worst, eh, sorry, uh, Q1, but in worst, Q2. Uh, so you need to be careful on that. Lah. Okay, uh, there are several, uh, if you just type, contohnya, Uh, general paper and then impact factor uh, general, uh, general A, quartal kan, tulis kat belakang tu and then usually keluar lah sekarang ni sebelum ni kena masuk WOS this uh, website but now you can just uh, type and then there's a free website lah yang show okay, this is the, the highest quartal is Q1 highest quartal is Q2 lah uh, you can know uh, easily so how they rank it from the list kan, let's say uh, in WOS just ni lah, uh, bayangkan you have like uh, 100 list and 100 journals in that list so the first 25 tu is in Q1 uh, that, uh, you sort it through uh, using impact factor uh, okay this journal impact factor 5 uh, this journal impact factor 2 this journal impact factor 1 uh. so susun so lah uh, in descending order the 25 yang atas tu is called Q1 uh, then the 25 to 50 yang bawah second one tu is Q2 Q3 kat bawah tu and then last kali Q4 meaning Q1 ni is the best of the best you already in uh, WOS But in worst pula, among the top 25% of that journal kan. So memang susah nak masuk. That's why uh, ni lah memang susah nak masuk cerita ni kan. Uh, but you know, why 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 this quarter? Kenapa kita patut fokus kalau let's say tadi kan antara impact factor tinggi ke, quarter lagi tinggi ke, which one should you focus? I would recommend the quarter punya ni lah. Tengok. Okay. I'll give you an example why. Sebab impact factor ni kadang-kadang tu vastly different from each field. So you have, let's say, uh, this kind uh, example here. Nature, journal name, I think everybody knows good. Uh, nature punya ni kan journal. Impact factor 42. It's <laughs> not tinggi ya. Very, very high. I think one of the highest good in, in the world good. Uh, and then schema GoJR ni is the Scopus punya uh, ni, apa nama, impact factor kan. The, the quartile in, in uh, Scopus uh, ni lah. Uh, if you look into schema GoJR.com ni, SQ1. Kan? Okay, science and technology of well and joining this is my one of my favorite uh, ni lah journal lah uh, related to my own field kan. Impact factor dia 42 uh, 3.4 je. Jauh beza kan. Uh, 42 3.4. Skema GoJR pun sama juga 1.1 je ni 14. Tapi they are in different categories. So in this category science and technology of well and joining is PQ1. Uh, so dia ada kategori pula kan bukanlah maksudnya 27,000 journal tu in the same category lah so okay uh, apa uh, kategori medik ada kan kategori arts ada kategori engineering, mechanical engineering sebenarnya kan uh, so 
list all the mechanical engineering punya journal uh, dan the top 25 tu kan uh, tak kira lah impact factor kat atas tu 0.1 sekali pun but if that is the highest impact factor in that particular field then itulah yang Q1 Okay, uh, so I, uh, I would prefer you look into the HQ1 or HQ2 rather than impact factor ni and uh, in, in my case 3.4 uh, ni sebenarnya tinggi dah and in in my field lah I usually my field around point, point 0.7 ada kan 1 not really high uh, tapi kalau macam medic ke uh, selalu tinggi lah belah belas kan uh, so you, uh, it's not a comp fair comparison lah uh, kalau anda kata buat kawatan ni baru nampak fair lah okay ialah in this field memang memang uh, still high quality dia bukan tengok pada impact factor. Okay, I hope yeah, you can understand that. Apa oh, soalan ni? If you have oh okay. Alright, uh, so to summarize eh, uh, I would say this is kind of the nilah uh, spectrum lah kan from difficult to easy. So you have here non peer review. Non peer review ni senang. Kalau tunggu kita check langsung kan. Uh, dapat je format pun langgang sekali pun ah uh, accepted ya yeah. ni yang selalu predictor original nak ni and then you have conference paper conference paper pun usually uh, you have to understand uh, co uh, apa conference ni diperlukan ramai participant so kalau dia tak tak ada terkenal sangat kan dia conference susah tak terkenal dia susah sikit nak reject orang lah uh, so usually dia akan suruh minta tolak apa tambah ke perbaiki kan even though it's uh, not a good quality paper so uh, conference paper ni not difficult to do non index kalau yang belum masuk rules ke scopus ni pun uh, not uh, that difficult sebab dia tak ada rigorous punya ni lah uh, apa dia dia maybe review tapi dia not that rigorous lah kan uh, but uh, bila dah scopus index rules index ni bila dia orang masuk dapat dapat masuk doesn't mean that they'll be there forever macam cok halal juga kan kalau so, yang bila tengok balik check check balik oh punya foto dan mungkin kita tarik balik cok halal tu the same thing here scopus pun boleh ditarik balik kalau anda kata tengok dia punya quality dah makin menurun macam Hindawi tadi kan, uh, Puan uh, tadi mention so it can be same for Scopus and Woz so you need to be careful lah kan uh, jangan kata oh ni 50 tahun dah Woz kan saya kira ada juga uh, yang kena reject daripada Woz tu lah this is just a rough estimation but you are, you must understand so it's quite dif difficult for yang atas ni and then it's quite easy lah if you go for this one so don't go for this one, aim for this one especially for the Woz uh, one lah eh Okay, a little bit on uh, predatory journal. So uh, I mentioned, please avoid uh, at all costs uh, predatory journals. How to know? There yeah, the just this uh, uh, list predatory journals ni, and there's also this famous uh, bill bills list ni. Um, this one uh, phone uh, disclaimer sikit is a potential predatory journals. So some uh, journals uh, fight back lah. Uh, the claim kata, eh, you uh, ni kan dia fitnah ni kan dia dah predator general kan because in the end no general will say i'm a predator general kan tak ada uh, but uh, ni lah they, they make it very very nice kan uh, uh, dalam dalam uh, email tu dia they say oh dia professor kan sedangkan kita PhD pun um, belum habis lagi kan dia professor sekian sekian, sekian. oh kita rasa bunga-bunga kan please uh, dia, dia punya ayat tu memang mengayat betul lah kan Uh, you are very talented in this field. Uh, why not you try to send to us? Kan? Uh, so be very careful with our predatory journals because they don't have any footing lah. Let's say quality. Uh, Kadang tu tengah langgam. Uh, tapi once you've signed the copyright, kata okay saya setuju untuk masuk dan bayar. Usually bayar lah kan. Then you have problem lah. Sebabnya that is you already submitted uh, to them. It's already official. Dia dah dia dah sign. Sign copyright tu meaning dia dah jadi hak milik dia lah punya paper tu kan. Now that paper tu data dia tu dah, dah kita rugi kan. Kita buat bertahun-tahun and end up uh, go to a predatory era. Uh, so I'll give you one uh, case study lah. This is from from my own. Okay. Uh, from my own case study, uh, I got a, a, a ni lah an invitation lah from uh, uh, email. Selalunya datang daripada email lah kan. Okay, uh, dear professor, uh, you are Uh, ni lah apa, you are, you, you are doing a prestigious work in your research field lah semua-semua lah kita nak bagi ngayak kita uh, tu dia, dia ni, dia kata my, uh, our impact factor is 10.1 oh kan, sangat tinggi in my field tak ada lagi rasanya uh, paling tinggi pun macam 8 macam tu lah in my field tak ada 10 ni kata dah lah 10 lepas tu not known in my field pun kan tak pernah dengar pun jenis paper tu kan uh, so this is, be careful it's a fake impact factor, mana-mana impact factor dia, dia buat dengan uh, boleh 
dia macam ni kan kata ada juga yang orang mini pelik ah ha, cak alas semua kan so same thing dia lah orang boleh mini pelik je tak ada susah nak nak ni pun kawal kan ha ada pattern ni boleh je saya cakap ah saya punya jurnal pun 20 juga better kan ha, so be you have to be very careful usually they will email you ha, because dia nak visibility kan ha, dia market dia literacy lah ha, dia dia email waktu ha, ayat bunga-bunga belaka kan so kita pun percayalah kat ha, 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 tu patutlah aku masuk ke sini kan. Ah uh, ni pun satu red flag, uh, very fast review acceptance you you get eh uh, hantar mungkin esok dah dapat lah. Oh, accept you tak correction. Oh, best kan. Kita pun uh, terima je lah kan. So this is also a red flag. Uh, most of the time memang it takes time. Okay, uh, and lagi tu senang sekali sebenarnya check lah kan dalam skema aku je ah contohnya kan this for scopus punya journals. Uh, so you want go for scopus ah uh, do in skema gojr uh, tulis lah journal tu kan uh, search for journal name tu kata journal of lokman hakim no record meaning bukan lah uh, apa it's not the index journal so tak payah don't bother walaupun free ke murah ke apa ke kan, don't bother okay uh, you just wasting time wasting your data ah uh, pada dia lah kan suspicious editor juga ni sama juga dia akan kata okay please go to the link to submit your article kita pergi link dia tu oh, dia punya dia punya apa website dia very interesting very beautiful lah dia buat oh memang cantik serious lcb akan lah website is very beautiful so kita pun tergoda lah macam tu kan best ni kan masuk uh, and then selalunya yang yang predator uh, generation dia suruh bayar kan <laughs> uh, sebelum publish ni sila bayar apa kita pun mungkin dah deadline sangat-sangat ah terpaksa bayar end up kita kena sign with uh, copyright pada dia kan so dah lah jadi hak milik dia kita uh, legally speaking kalau dah kita dah sign kita dah bayar semua tu then uh, mungkin kita kalah lah kalau masuk court kat sini pun ah tapi another thing dalam website tu saya pergi lah kan saja tengok website sangat sikit punya lawa kan it's very beautiful but then you look at the editorial board tu muka tak ada and then nama macam John Doe macam macam kan nama-nama uh, generic kan John Wayne uh, uh, memang ni lah bila tengok time ni tipu pula kan and then from one one particular country only uh, ni lagi lain macam kan okay, uh, so reject terus jangan bother lah pergi hantar tu ok what kind of materials write up can we contribute as novice researcher QQR oh, ok this is where we, we want to start uh, kan is it saying what eh okey saya pun rumah dia tanya which of these two is considered high ranking a non index journal or index conference proceeding oh susah dengar dekat tu um mm, kalau if the index uh, conference proceeding tu memang index by scopus and your university uh, terima kan then uh, why not you go for that one lah Uh, uh, saya pun ada juga hantar conference proceeding ni kan usually paper for conference proceeding ni is uh, research uh, ni lah ongoing research kan under construction uh, so uh, tak ada masalah pun nak hantar ke tu non non index journals ni um, kalau just kalau katakanlah requirement dah dah settle and you want to go for that one boleh je tapi uh, ni lah I, I think rugi sebab dia tak ada tak ada index tu kan at least kalau index uh, conference proceeding sekalipun boleh lah claim dalam ni kan dalam kita punya uh, apa what do you call uh, list kat belakang tu kan uh, publication list semua tu benda tu adalah scopus index uh, ini kita masuk kan eh, Encik Muhammad eh what kind of material write up ni kita uh, I'll go uh, to that ok uh, Dr. Najiha eh uh, ada apa je person tadi what are the differences and similarities between Sumago and in terms of the features coverage and usefulness of bibliometric analysis um so that's my stated for, for this year uh, so different in terms of uh, kena ingat dia dua ni uh, body yang berbeza kan uh, organization yang berbeza so wos ada dia punya standard sendiri uh, scopus ada standard sendiri uh, bila yang masuk tu katakanlah Uh, ni, okay, the logic kenapa Scopus punya boleh Q1 tapi yang Woz punya Q2 kan it's because Scopus ni dia dia uh, ni lah dia punya quality a little bit low bukanlah kata ni kan tapi uh, relatively low compared to uh, Woz 
and even though it's still good quality tapi uh, so the, the the list tu mungkin banyak you see from uh, this tadi balik eh tengok scopus banyak journal ni this was from 2008 lah lama punya data but you can see the journal is 6000 kan scopus uh, web of science alone lah ah uh, 1000 ni tapi yang ni uh, campur dua-dua ni memang banyak lah kan sebab ni yang orang tu uh, ni lah cuba masuk kan uh. tapi kalau tengok separately uh, scopus punya kalau ni saja banyak lah tapi ni lah dengan so you have a list of let's say kalau kata kalau engineering mungkin ada ada no 300 list lepas tu yang web of science ni pula ada mungkin just of the same the same category eh uh, engineering mungkin ada 100 contoh kan uh, so you you get uh, from 100 tu 25 ke atas saja tapi kalau scopus ni 300 tu you're getting 75 kan 75 uh, is the 25 percent tu so scopus ni mungkin dah masuk dah yang list uh, bawah ni masuk dalam q1 dia tapi yang for web of science ni dia dah terendah sikit daripada 25 tu kan so dia kat bawah so that's why dia ni lah dia punya apa uh, q1 dan q2 tu mungkin sedikit beza kadang-kadang dua-dua q1 kan not to say uh, ni lah setiasa ada beza kan uh, but you have to be careful lah uh, kalau nak nak tengok tu uh, sekarang ni apa uh, rack apa dia punya uh, researchify uh, researchify kan nama dia uh, dia punya website dia you can uh, take a look lah tulis the journal name lepas tu dia punya ni kan uh, apa nama dia punya ke, uh, tulis kuartal lah journal A kuartal tu kan ketika keluar ada hal tu tu researchify so tu dia i think extract from web of science lah kan uh, dia tulis lah kat situ ada journal higher journal uh, bear in mind setiap journal, journal ni ada uh, ni lah a few bidang uh, a few category yang dia masuk kan so that's why okay kita balik ni that's why kat sini dia tulis best quartile kan sebab this journal boleh masuk condensed matter physics mungkin boleh masuk sekali contohnya mechanical engineering ke boleh masuk sekali materials engineering ke contohnya kan ha, tapi kat situ mungkin Q2 ha, sini mungkin Q3 sebab situ competitive sikit contohnya kan ha, condensed matter physics contohlah dia tak berapa competitive so dia reign supreme uh, go to Q1 so dia kata best quartile is Q1 ha, so kita boleh kata uh, apa usually kita akan ambil yang best quartile lah kan ha, that's why kalau yang macam dalam researchify tu pun dia tulis lah best portal for this journal is Q1. Ah uh, lantaklah yang lain tu Q2 ke Q4 ke kan tak biasa lah. yang yang the best one is Q1 tadi kita ambil tu. Okay, I hope that answer your question. Ada soalan lain ke? Sebelum kita ke tips and tricks ni. Oi, tengah sejam lagi. Ah saya rasa tak ada dah. Ah uh, setakat, okay. <laughs> setakat ni tak okay. ada lagi. Alright, ah uh, sudah sampai dah sini. Ah uh, <laughs> saya tapi itulah saya sebenarnya kalau tak ada uh, hal ni memang suka je lah, nah, dia buat tiga jam ni uh, ok, uh, tips and tricks eh, in, in writing uh, just go briefly kat sini if you are in engineering uh, and you are starting this is your luck lah, I, I don't think uh, I stumble upon this lah actually it's not something yang orang ajar kat daripada saya lah kan okay, there are types of articles you can write eh. uh, communication, uh, short communication letters original technicals, research paper, review paper, opinion Errata, case study semua kan. So I have never done this lah yang bawah ni kan. Masa uh, opinion. Opinion ni maksudnya kita boleh refute balik. Kalau kita kata baca, eh ni ngaruk lah dia punya ni kan. Kita boleh refute. Ha, ni selalunya professor lah kan. Kita ni tak apa yang kita faham ni. Tapi yang the three uh, uh, top ni very important sebab um, especially this one. Uh, not many yang tahu tau uh, short communication letters ni. Uh, yang kita tahu original technical ataupun research paper kan most published type lah eh, ni memang memang almost all orang ni lah majority yang hantar ke sini review paper pun saya rasa boleh faham lah kan you the literature review tu you make it into a paper okay. short communication letter ni dia uh, some uh, even Q1 punya ni tau level tau ah, ni, ni saya bocor kan saya ni some are Q1 levels ada impact factor some ada side score tinggi Tapi dia short communication letter in a sense dia ada berkom part part yang sudah je. You are only required to write for um, for uh, apa, pages and not more, nothing less, uh, apa, not more than four. Kalau more than four dia reject. Uh, so what it is is basically dia macam almost like macam conference paper lah. You are saying, hey look, I have this very interesting finding. 
And it's a novel finding lah from what I understand uh, from the literature. It, this is a new finding. I'm working on it, but uh, I want to claim novelty. I want to publish first lah uh, the initial uh, ni lah results kan. Uh, the results is uh, ni lah dah dah already tested. Man, I have uh, apa error bars and things like that. And, and uh, ni lah apa it's reliable. Uh, I want to to ni lah uh, show it to the world kan. So when it is published, you make you make it official. Then you have a piece on of, of mind lah that. Uh, kalau katakanlah in three years time tiba-tiba ada pula another paper exactly the same title kan then you can see to the panel actually uh, three years ago I, I submit this short communication letter uh, regarding the same thing kan so very limited uh, around four pages uh, figures ada uh, mungkin uh, limited juga maybe say okay only three figures not more kan one one table tentunya so you can't do more Uh, jadi very limited sebenarnya even uh, bahagian literature bahagian discussion it becomes very very short lah. Ini termasuk sekali dengan uh, difference macam tu. Uh, you send and usually you get quite a fast feedback lah. Uh, so let's say one month itu ataupun one month and a half you already get feedback you uh, you can already publish. This would be a really good strategy for you especially yang yang uh, starting off kan uh, to 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 do lah when you already got some preliminary results and it's interesting can you can try in my field uh, ada material letters material research express um, apa lagi material letters uh, manufacturing letters uh, uh, yang yang susah sikit contoh akta materialia tu aku ni bukan nak cerita dekat mana kan uh, things like that so dia ada impact factor dia ada impact factor and uh, it takes uh, doesn't take a lot of time lah kan you don't have tak perlu banyak sangat data as long as data tu cukup menunjukkan ada satu trend yang menarik there's novelty you can try to submit uh, and, and it's quick sebabnya ialah review tengok oh empat page kan sekejap je lah uh, hard one hour one hour dah settle lah uh, dia punya review kan so it's kind of quick i really recommend you to send this uh, when you have uh, ni lah new uh, apa information and new uh, ni kan i this, this was my strategy dulu kan nampak oh ni macam interesting no, novel ni kan kata anta uh, uh, apa accepted wrong within one month and a half good kan and during my early years of uh, the phd lah oh it was a very, very nice uh, ni lah moral booster lah. you already have that one uh, dia tak ada impact factor dia ada side score tapi already ni lah uh, i mean kalau nak kata in terms of Malaysian ni standard lah, already, I already have a Scopus Index journal paper. It's a journal paper eh, bukannya proceeding. So try, <laughs> try. I, I really know, sebab dia dah jadi moral booster. Oh, I already penetrated one journal. Now, uh, apa, get ready lah ni lain kan, saya nak penetrate lagi kan. Uh, tapi it's a really nice uh, ni, uh, strategy. Bila dapat ni, then yang tambahan-tambahan kan, yang the, the long version tu, then you put in the research paper, you publish it that one. Eh. Okay, another uh, technique is uh, review paper. So the first first year of your PhD, maybe you can also publish a review paper. This alone may take around two hours of uh, ni lah. Uh, if you want me to uh, ni kan explain about uh, the strategies in review paper, uh, I'm also happy kalau nak kata kita cina apa ni lagi balik uh, explain sini kan. But uh, for now, saya tak go into detail lah. Okay, let's look at the question here. Do you recommend one over the other? Yes, as I mentioned. I would suggest you go for was. Just uh, go for was. Tapi if you have both is better and you can see tadi the overlap tu. That overlap is the most uh, common lah journals kan rather than the just scopus or just was. So go with uh, was and scopus at the same time. Okay. Uh, for our, uh, yeah, literature review. I've done uh, three review papers. I've uh, submitted in Q1 journals. Memang kena bashing. Uh, in the last slide, tak tahu sempat kata. Uh, in, in the last slides, in in this uh, slides, I uh, even ni lah, dia dedahkan lah. I, I uh, expose the corrections or the comments from the reviewer. Memang memang really painful juga lah kan. <laughs> Tapi uh, goes to show, bila lepas tu, I revamp back the uh, paper, becomes a high quality paper and sampai sekarang masih lagi excited so uh, and then that one that uh, published paper i put as my chapter quality review done lah sebab your your panel what can they say already in a very specific journal science and technology of welding and joining 
kan uh, so the panel the the reviewer is a uh, expert in uh, in welding bukannya expert in medical ke apa kan in welding the comment pun dah kau-kau and then uh, already published it is a q1 to engine so what more can the panel can say nah uh, that's why i'm saying dia sebenarnya moral booster for for your thesis in the end lah uh, jangan jangan rasa eh, takut ah kena kena reject kan hantar je hantar je uh, kalau kena reject sekali pun you get valuable feedback okay uh, mrs Azwina, uh, do you have an example of communication letter journal? Nak tengok? Nanti saya tunjuk eh. Tak habis kita ni. <laughs> tak apa, for, for, for your sake. Okay. Nanti macam ni letter. Oh, nanti ni. Okay. Okay, this is one eh, manufacturing letters. You can see, uh, dia lah semua kan. Tapi uh, kat sini selalu dia akan tulis letters. So, maksudnya short, short communication. Uh, one page, two page, three page, habis. Four page pun tak ada apa, kosong kan. Reference sembilan. Uh, uh, conclusion kat sini. Gambar adalah uh, figure, uh, four figures. Ha, lepas tu yang lain, ha, okay, macam ni lah yang banyak sikit tulis kan tapi discussion pun very short lah, very brief the thing is, um, science and engineering banyak uh, I, I don't think uh, ni lah for um, social science ada I don't think. the reason being sebab uh, ni lah science and engineering ni dia very fast paced macam saya sebut kan it's a fast paced punya uh, field jadi orang takut orang lain claim over to you kan So kita okay, say okay, I have I have a good result here kan. Kalau orang lain ni, especially jenis COVID kan, wah oh, semua orang nak publish pasal COVID. So your your ni lah, it's rigorous. So um, if you lambat nanti orang dah claim apa tu. So they they make this short letters lah. Uh, tapi unfortunately, you can uh, look lah. Saya pun tak check lah betul betul. Tapi I think social science uh, tak banyak lah uh, short communication letters. Ni. For engineering, please take ni lah. Science and engineering, please take this uh, opportunity lah. Uh, publish je mana-mana yang rasa just nice for a four page punya ni hantar je, try kan ok uh, alright, some general rules um, saya saya rasa terpaksa ni lah, skip lah eh, a few sebab aku kan uh, dragging terlalu panjang uh, some general rules, uh, satunya English lah kan so, jadi uh, bila nak sebelum hantar tu uh, use uh, proofreading proofreading service if necessary Uh, and right now, even kalau bukan uh, providing service, maybe you can use ni lah, uh, software kan uh, even chat GPT pun rasanya boleh uh, help you with the, the grammar uh, so you, you can try uh, that out um, use passive voice rather than active voice is typically true for engineering punya uh, fields okay. uh, was investigated rather than we investigate cuma this one saya buat asterisk ni sebab dia somehow dah, dah trending dia dah, dah macam tak kisah sangat lah kan. Uh, so sometimes dalam dalam apa scientificnya report pun dah ada tulis dah we kan. Sedangkan selalu ni kita guna passive voice. Okay. Uh, so this one just ni lah. Uh, take it with a pinch of salt lah. Uh, read thoroughly the uh, journal format. This is one uh, lesson learned uh, ni lah. For me, uh, I target this one particular journal. I really want to uh, send it there. It's a Q1 journal. End up very fast kena reject kan. Mesti kau kena pula ni. Rupanya ada the format very unique format for that journal yang I did uh, ni. So editor tengok ah uh, dia ni tak baca ni kan. Uh, uh, tak baca format so dia reject uh, immediately. So be careful with the uh, journal format lah. Take a look. Go through kan. Walaupun the Elsevier uh, uh, sebelum ni pun another journal Elsevier juga uh, publish ah uh, dia it's, it's not uh, the same. Okay so uh, you have to uh, look at it. Figures, make sure it's a good quality, sharp, uh, jangan pecah-pecah uh, it, it will irritate your your reviewers pun kan Nanti tengok macam mana nak baca ni kan, tak nampak uh, gambar-gambar ni Okay, tables formatted accordingly For tables ni, dia usually the, the universal usage is ada dua line kat atas For the title, itu satu line kat bawah, tu je Tak payah line macam-macam, warna-warni tak payah Yes, dua line kat atas for the table, eh, for the title kan Ini uh, title ke notes tu, eh, itu ada bawah ending tu je. Uh, that's universally used yeah, for any journal lah. If you go with that, you can go wrong lah. Uh, tapi kalau buat color, kelabu lah, warna-warni semua tu mungkin uh, ni lah. Uh, sometimes kena tegur lah tu kan. 
the not the proper format ah uh, uh, ni pun sama uh, uh, kadang bila I, i'm also a review kan sometimes i see right ada gambar but you're not explaining kan? even though it's self explanatory please explain the paragraph dengan dengan biar dia ah uh, nilah macam okey uh, faham-faham sendirilah tak boleh you have to explain even though it's self explanatory and then um, make sure the, the article uses the general template lah. so what's the general template i think uh, most of you already know lah uh, for now so we have the research paper uh, template ni title extract introduction methodology results discussion conclusion knowledge and acknowledgement and reference uh, this is true for science and engineering i'm not really sure for social science maybe ada tukar sikit tapi this is uh, nilai kan uh, so i'm going to go through very quickly lah all this dengan ada title sampai ke conclusion you see the the key points that you should you should nilah if you already have that in mind then it's very good kalau if you see some points that you think oh ni this new for me and so ya uh, nilah especially i'm going to focus on your result discussion ni lah because yang lain tu intro tu mungkin nilah uh, tak adalah very sikit kan tapi bila tengok result discussion tu how you how you um, explain the, the results how you uh, show that you have scholarly thinking uh, is important in results discussion eh okay so the title Uh, boleh tanya sementara tu saya saya tak ada nak tanya every time eh. kalau ada just go ahead uh, tanya tak ada masalah saya takut tak apa pasal ni ah okey the, the title is a, your first question ah uh, make it count kan uh, so how how can we uh, make a, a good title this is i'm still learning lah benda ni kan kena experiment juga lah guna title ni title ni kan terus tengok macam hmm, citation tak apa banyak mungkin sebab uh, mungkin dalam dia tapi mungkin juga title tu tak catchy enough ke apa kan Uh, uh, is to stimulate the reader's interest. Oh, ni ni tarik ni kan. So nak baca kan. Not too long, around 15 words. And below lah jangan jangan sampai banyak sangat. Dah jadi tu perenggan pula kan. Apa ada ni tak so, elakkan tu. Uh, no abbreviation. So contoh in my in my field FSMU SEM is common uh, tapi don't expect people to know lah kan. When you do abbreviation ni silap-silap orang tak tak jumpa nanti kan. Because they're going to search dan selalunya orang search tak tulis terus a uh, abbreviation ah orang tulis ah uh, friction stir welding so uh, takut tak keluar lah ini kan bila dia search a good title consists of what now what have you done the fabrication of something something in situ observation of investigation of a uh, nilah apa benda lah kan uh, of of ni then application for what application uh, ni bla 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 in high altitude condition bla bla, bla for sustainable development uh, things like that eh? Next, <coughs> attractive keyword. Nah, ni pun when I come back lah, I went to uh, workshop juga lah pasal general writing and so uh, they mentioned this quite kind of interesting lah. So attractive keyword macam sustainable, simultaneous, green, novel, and things like that. The title tu boleh digunakan juga lah dalam kita ni kan. Tapi I don't. Uh, saya rasa macam novel ni agak overuse lah. Semua semua orang nak claim uh, macam ni lah. Macam macam kat pasal malam tulis uh, kari pak bayar kan. Dia yang tulis kari bayar bukannya betul bayar kan. Uh, so macam over claim lah. Okay, abstract. Uh, so after title, of course ada abstract. So abstract ni pun very important sebab orang selalu baca abstract dulu. Uh, kalau paid punya ni kan, tak boleh nak tengok dalam ni, jadi dia orang akan nampak abstract juga kan. So uh, short and concise, uh, around 150 to 200 words. Uh, tapi kadang-kadang tu ada guideline lah dalam dalam format kan. Dalam general tu dia kata, okay, only 100 words contohnya lah, then comply lah. The rule of thumb is in this just a suggested amount of sentence lah kan. So first of all just an introduction to study and uh the study investigates blah 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 uh, then the objective of the study to apa uh, you do the study the methodology kan. So this one a uh, little bit kena detail sikit kan methodology okay what you did kan uh, tensile ke benda ke around three plus minus three sentences uh, results pun around plus minus three sentences dalam ni tak ada discussion eh. Uh, dalam uh, abstract ni um ni lah uh, masak ni uh, my ni kan apa uh, apa my uh, school of thought lah sub-sub tu saya tak adalah uh, dalam ni kita buat kita punya abstract, apa discussion eh. and then um, conclusion one sentence so what is the key takeaway message ah uh, ni yang yang dah kat dekat conclusion kita lah kan so banyak-banyak kita kata result ni apa yang sebenarnya kita nak nak go ahead with kan apa yang sebenarnya kita nak sampaikan Okay, uh, bawah daripada abstract ada keyword, uh, bawah daripada keyword ada introduction. Okay, so introduction ni 
simply put uh, ni je uh, gambar ni lah kalau to summarize yang senang uh, it's a funnel method lah uh, kan it's, it's called a funneling funneling method ataupun inverted pyramid you go from a general punya perspective to a more specific perspective macam mana tanya should add implications to abstract Ah, so kalau uh, you think uh, apa key take away message dia boleh lah buat kat conclusion tu kan. Ah, so ni uh, menguatkan lagi ni ni and uh, ni boleh bagi ni lah kan implikasi ni kepada economy of the world ke benda kan. Ah. Boleh je buat. Tak ada salah. So that's just your conclusion lah yang you want to say. Ah, uh, okay so for, for funneling ni the general topic mula kita cerita general introduction so uh, let's look at how i would uh, i usually do it for my introduction lah, sebab uh, on in friction stress welding kan. so mula cerita pasal welding and then go pula pada friction stress welding usually adalah kita buat definition advantages kan uh, dan sebagainya if the general itself kalau kita target general tu memang very specific in our field tak perlu kita lah dah contoh macam saya general of welding contohnya kan tak ya kita welding is apa dah jadi tak yalah Let's go with uh, friction stress welding. Uh, what's the definition? Event. So usually three things lah. Definition, uh, advantage, application. Definition, advantage, uh, application. This advantage you put in the problem statement. Okay. Uh, so once you go general, you go more more ni lah. Zoom into your topic kan. Uh, so what we know so far, kan? Try to be specific lah. What we know so far uh, in terms of literature lah kan. Okay, this has. Uh, people, uh, people have done this, uh, people have done this, and what they, they report semua tu. It's kind of a concise literature review lah. Try to get the paper in less than five years. So if you recall, uh, in terms of the impact factor semua tu kan, uh, dia uh, ada two year impact factor, ada five years impact factor. Kalau kita uh, cite like zaman piramid dulu punya paper, uh, doesn't count for anything. And just so uh, eh, tak salah lah if it's uh, macam ni kan, uh, boleh je cite. Tapi yang ceritanya try to make majority of five years lah. uh, showing that it's a recent punya trend lah kan Aduh, apa, the, the research is not dying lah it's still trending at the moment and then we'll go to our problem statement yang uh, ni kan apa, objective so what we don't know and lacking from the literature usually we ni lah uh, in my case lah, I usually use our effort ni lah uh, so this is the problem statement that we want to say lah oh ada lot of advantage ni blah 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 but however uh, people have done this disease however that's lacking on this particular part okay. uh, therefore ataupun uh, and then after this uh, sentence therefore the study looks proper lah uh, so very clear cut lah what you want to uh, say kan uh, but uh, I uh, really recommend don't oversell this because uh, kerana tu kita sebut oh this has been never uh, this study has never been done before uh, tu memang Cek pasal juga sebenarnya sebab you are claiming this has never been done before ni pernah saya tengok tau dalam dalam paper and uh, in the end paper tu kena reject uh, I didn't reject it lah I said a major correction sebabnya you you claim this has never been, never been done before I'm the reviewer I'm doing the same research and then you put in Google Scholar around uh, berapa itu lah 6,000 of paper on that particular study yeah. so how can you say no we never been done before and uh, so uh, the strategy is you know we, we it's impossible to, for us to really know lah uh, we never been done before or not but the strategy is we use hedging the bagian there's a term called hedging h e d g i n g uh, which is nilah to the best of the of the knowledge uh, the information regarding this is still lacking and Uh, so kita tak kata yes or no bila never been done tu it's a yes or no question dah pernah buat ke tak pernah buat kalau pernah buat at least once pun dah dah negate negate that statement kan so use hedging eh uh, so inilah the the uh, the insurance sikit lah kita punya mulut ni kan <laughs> alright uh, in terms of methodology i think uh, ni particular for experimental i was a experimental punya researcher lah waktu my phd uh, just go briefly lah ni saya rasa i think all of you can uh, ni For my students, usually what I say is uh, if you I give this thesis to your uh, your, your thesis to a junior, can he do exactly the same experiment as you? Uh, uh, maksudnya, your your methodology is as detailed as possible to the point that he can imitate kan, uh, uh, what you did before. That's the reason pun kan, the, the, the scientific uh, punya study kan. Kalau anda kata uh, a very interesting finding tu, you want 
people to be able to also imitate and get the same finding lah kan uh, semua boleh claim kata oh uh, i got a novel result i got ni kan tapi when somebody else did it tak dapat sama then they will question oh, is it true or is it just you you're faking kan uh, so uh, it's good that you have a you know very detailed methodology to show that okay you can try and do it yourself uh, most, uh, probably you, you will get uh, the same results okay uh, the, the key point is be as detailed as possible so this Detailing uh, includes uh, materials, experimental design, and uh, analysis method, uh, experimental variables, verification, uh, figure schematic. If it's difficult to explain, uh, ini kan, uh, by words, then maybe you would use uh, schematics ke apa ke, uh, in order for you to uh, ini lah, convey the message. Kan. And then maybe also shortcomings and limitations. Uh, ini pun, some cases, kita boleh explain uh, upfront. Lah. Yeah, even though ini ni, tapi have this limitation. Uh, so uh, that's why data ni mungkin uh, tak akan ada lah. Uh, uh, it will uh, apa uh, ni lah uh, one is lacking in one particular analysis kapal kala kan boleh mention. Okay. Uh, alright. Okay, okay. It's by. Uh, in terms of results. Um, So what I usually explain to people what result is is a what ataupun obvious section. Uh, dalam bahasa Melayu yang tersurat lah ni. <laughs> ha yang tersurat. So you usually put in in data data form in terms of tables or figures ke. Uh, make sure it's good quality. And then you explain the data in the table kan. Uh, so the graph shows uh, an increasing in mean kan. Uh, the bar graph shows comparatively this is better than this one couple kan. Uh, and then value increase, decrease, uh, or you know, anything yeah, related to the graph, which is kind of the the reader can agree upon because they look at the graph and say, oh yeah, I can agree that uh, this is increasing or it's showing a decreasing trend. Yeah. Uh, but why is increasing and this uh, or decreasing? That's for discussing in part. Uh, so there, there's two ways you can do it lah. Some uh, Uh, my my supervisor like it that uh, say wo semua um, apa results and then put discussion at the bottom so compile all the results tu both put in the discussion lah in uh, ni kan, subsections uh, sometimes uh, ada juga yang maksudnya result terus terus eh, yang cerita discussion result discussion result discussion ah uh, dia terus buat nama dia results and discussion uh, so that's also another uh, way to do it uh, so it's up to you lah uh, apa tengoklah kan supervisor awak macam mana kan Uh, so in discussion pula is the why how ataupun not so obvious section uh, okay so you have an increasing the data shows an, an increase in the graph eh? why yeah. how how is the data increasing eh? so this is uh, you have to do some reading lah eh? uh, usually it's not as obvious you have to do some reading look at the past literature and say oh this is a common trend lah dengan uh, sebelum ni pun the same ataupun oh is contradicting the trend Why? Why is it contradicting? So this where you need to answer this kind of things, lah, kan? So usually, kalau in my case, uh, what my supervisor do, ah, uh, di sini memang banyak banyak merah, <laughs> banyak merah because okay, why you say this? Uh, why you say? Uh, why you claim this? This? Uh, so then we have to answer. Uh, kenapa lah? Uh, cari lagi lah uh, for information on that. But um, if I'm a reviewer. Uh, if your discussion part is uh, good, most of the time, uh, ni lah, I will recommend uh, terima lah kan. Mungkin ada minor ke, tapi most of the time tak, uh, dia akan, akan ni lah. Okay, sebab apa? Discussion ni yang you show you showing your scholarly thinking ke. Kan? So, kalau result, ni lah, I think sekolah menengah and also degree, kita dah, dah belajar dah how to make a scientific report kan. So, you know. Tapi, discussion ni shows your high, higher level of thinking lah. Kan? Uh, so, A good discussion section has a high probability to be accepted in a high impact journal. And I'll show you some tips lah kan, to make it uh, into a good discussion section. Okay, uh, so basically apa dalam dalam ni ni? Synthesizing previous work, tengok balik previous work and, and compare. Is it is my data the same? And uh, if the same, then you can say okay, it's because uh, as uh, Ali at all mentioned, it's because of this. Kan? And then put your data as well and also your thinking inside. <laughs> Uh, mix them together in become discussion. Uh, so it's a young tersirat lah in your data. Uh, whatever lah, is it phenomena, the new mechanism you think uh, is happening in that particular data, new formula ke you want to propose, 
new observation, a new perspective, new angle, and also just uh, just don't uh, don't uh, ni lah, don't uh, don't underestimate yourself kan. Uh, so you can actually give your own thinking. Kan? It is postulated that the kalau tak ada lah kan, if there's no data uh, showing uh, increase ke apa, then you can also give your own ni lah opinion kan. It is postulated based on the data that we have. Uh, what is happening lah kan. Uh, uh, kalau anda kata memang totally wrong, so you, you akan highlight lah. No kan. Uh, first of all, uh, your supervisor mungkin dah highlight dah kan. Apa dengan vote ni. Tapi, uh, otherwise, kalau supervisor kata, oh okay, I think uh, ni lah kita cuba lah kan. Uh, and then go to the reviewer, you will accept then maybe it's uh, one one perspective yang orang tak pernah tengok lagi. Okay, this one I really like kan, schematic diagram. Uh, in my field, mechanical or computer engineering, a lot of schematic diagrams, and this really help in putting the idea across. Kerana kita tulis tulis jela, uh, even masih ada kan, bagus oh, mangat tu jela kan. Sebab itu saya kata, mm, I don't understand what you say. Okay. okay, I try to put into a diagram. Senang kan. Bila nampak kan, visual ni kan, we look at it visually. Oh, okay, this is what you mean. Okay, fine. Kan? So if you if the reader understands, then no need to revise a lot. Simply, simply like that. Yeah. If I, if if you can convince me to understand what you are saying here, then I won't comment lah. Kan? Kalau tapi kalau uh, ayat tu doesn't can come across, then I have to ni yeah, okay. Please redo this sentence. Please revise this statement. Kapa kan? Uh, sedangkan kita dah dah cuba explain. Okay. And lastly, another uh, suggestion is suggest a way forward. Show how this study can be can contribute to something lah. Can uh, to less uh, energy consumption ke? How this study can uh, eradicate COVID ke? Uh, showing the, the the way forward. This just kita punya thinking lah kan. Uh, it doesn't have to be. Tapi masa kita predict lah kan. Okay, this formula, this uh, mechanism can be extra extrapolated to ni lah other uh, fields ke apa ke. Kan? Okay. Uh, alright. Uh, ni tambahan lagi. What things we can discuss? So compare with existing paper yang dah ada kan uh, propose a mechanism mechanism ni kadang yalah jangan jangan takutlah nak 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 propose a mechanism tau uh, kadang tu mungkin betul mungkin tak tapi kita propose mechanism tu kita tunjuk ke reviewer kalau reviewer tak komen then should be okay lah kan uh, simple economic analysis contohnya uh, potential application in of findings uh, mana dia boleh guna pakai uh, potential difficulty for scale up commercialization uh, uh, limitation and future code recommendation and these are kind of things yang you can put in discussion this is an example lah uh, a schematic that i did showing uh, before this nobody uh, ni lah uh, showing this kind of schematic so i buat sendiri yang guna powerpoint ni tak apa cantik lah dia punya bulatan dengan lah tapi uh, goes to show bila when you propose a mechanism show schematically then people can see easily oh ni maksudnya dia pusing-pusing ni kan oh ni go straight je easy kalau tak kita kena kata oh it's a wobble amplitude of 0.4 on susah nak bayang kan ok uh, ni uh, ada the ni lah examples of uh, schematics in my own articles so for instance this one this is a schematic kita tunjuk flow dia kan flow going down to go up things like that uh, Surprisingly lah, saya pun buat ni ni uh, kan, for general. Surprisingly, if this particular uh, field, kalau anda kata tulis uh, laser wobbling ke apa kan, uh, in, in Google punya ni website, uh, this one come up first. Sebab mungkin very easy to understand, jadi orang banyak tengok lah, banyak tengok. Uh, guna powerpoint ni, tu nampak eh. <laughs> bukan, bukannya saya tak kerti, oh, ada photoshop apa kan, tapi uh, boleh kodek guna powerpoint kan, then you get beautiful picture. Ini pun sama juga um, apa powerpoint slide juga. Ini powerpoint je kan, lukis-lukis guna ni. Uh, and then uh, you mention, okay for this one, I mention okay, they, I propose three type of uh, microstructure microstructure kan. So uh, this is type one, this is type two, type three. Uh, nobody before this ni lah uh, explain it like that kan. Tapi uh, pakai buah je type, ada three type. Bukannya, bukannya tahu pun kan, mungkin ada empat kan, tapi kita penubuh kan. Tapi accepted, so ni lah, ambil lah kan. Uh, ni microstructure punya gambar, so I, originally tiga gambar berbeza tapi I put it into a cube, jadi dia bentuk. Nampak macam ni lah, cantik lah, kek lapis kan. We all use uh, ni PowerPoint slide sahaja. 
Okay, uh, for conclusion, uh, it's a summary of results. Uh, it's not like uh, abstract, eh? so just talk about the results. And then uh, I would recommend, in my style, uh, summarize it in bullet form. So, kal kalau katakanlah mechanical engineering ni, dia ada satu ni mechanical analysis, dia ada microstructure analysis. So, you can uh, separate it lah kan. Okay, so one bullet form, mechanical analysis. Atau mungkin dua bullet form, mechanical analysis punya result. Uh, and then, uh, dua pula lagi untuk microstructure analysis. Uh, whatever lah kan. So, this is uh, one, one bit to it. Uh, mainly the results, uh, so it's the obvious section. Eh? Uh, so, avoid the discussion atau the explanation uh, section. This is also sometimes common, especially in degree students. And they they want to, uh, apa, uh, put in uh, ni lah discussion section in conclusion, and that's that's not ni lah. Uh, so, but this is usually discussion ni is a, a postulation lah. You you predict ke, you postulate ke, you hypothesize kan. So it's not uh, suitable to be put in conclusion. Conclusion is just saying okay, this is the the data and this is the facts that we got from the uh, research uh, but the discussion part may be betul, may be wrong and so it's not a uh, uh, lah, solid fact solid fact uh, jadi just go with the obvious section and no more reference <laughs> for the program yeah. to is a no no eh? okay uh, some inside the tips with, with regards to ni, uh, paper ni first of all as I mentioned tadi I'm not going to focus on scopus uh, I want to focus on wars and uh, possibly Q1 paper. Uh, I hope they do all uh, during, during this Ramadan season again uh, that you will uh, be able to uh, publish one at least one uh, Q1 paper. Uh, but how you want to get there, you need to have a mindset of a Q1 uh, journal article writer. Lah, and how to get this mindset? Read a lot of Q1 papers. Uh, you will see how they make the flow, how they argue the data, how they, um, you know, how they compile, how they make the data, how they susun kan? the flow, the the explanation, the schematic diagram. Then you have you will start thinking like a you know, Q1 uh, article writer lah kan? uh, So you will you will imitate. If you just go oh. I want ni lah, tak apalah non-index pun, tak apalah tak ada scopus pun, baca yang yang mudah-mudah faham ni kan. Mudah-mudah faham memang mudah faham but uh, your your scholarly thinking will not grow lah. Uh, but banyak je Q1 paper saya baca tak faham kan. It's common lah, it's Q1 kot kan. Uh, apa, equation ni macam-macam kan, tak faham kan. Uh, but uh, gradually lah kan, walaupun banyak juga tak faham tu, gradually you you make your paper to do quality paper as well. Uh, kita ingat, oh, uh, apa yang kalau ikutkan itu, tu flow dia macam ni lah. So, aku pun nak follow macam tu lah kan. Uh, so, this is uh, one one tips lah. Saya rasa, saya pun banyak, uh, saya dah tak tengok dah uh, 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 ni kan. Sebab saya target saya ni, saya tak tengok lah yang uh, tengok je uh, paper tu dah nampak dah format graf tak betul lah. Ni rasa ni memang, memang bukan ni, saya silap prioritary pun jenis kan. So, why should I care to baca lah kan. Saya silap dia punya data dia pun tak betul ke apa. Okay. Uh, be tactful in responding to reviewers because they do it for free. Uh, so if you want to respond to reviewer, when you get review, uh, ni lah kan uh, comments, then uh, ni lah be, be ni lah uh, apa, uh, tact, tact, um, tact apa, apa, uh, beradab lah kan, so kan, uh, so beradab so ni lah. Sebabnya reviewers ni do do it for free. Uh, jangan tak tahu eh, okay. <laughs> If you are a reviewer, you don't get anything. Maybe a discount lah for uh, apa buku from that publisher ke apa kan. Tapi, uh, and then ada lah certificate. Nah, itu je lah dapat. Tak ada dapat duit pun. Nah. Uh, so, kalau uh, you buat dia, dia, apa you respond harshly, then maybe they say, ah, ni ni, malah aku layan ni, uh, reject je lah dia ni kan. Okay, uh, recommend for rejection. Uh, third, uh, cite more paper than, uh, more than one paper from the journal you want to publish or look at the most cited journal. So, this one, um, not sure ada tak kat bawah ni. Tapi, uh, basically how you you want to find a journal to publish in is you look at your preference. Bila dah, once you finish uh, your your um, article, look at the reference and see which journal you cite a lot. And let's say you have 20 citation. Look, oh, uh, journal A, I cited five times. Maybe that's the suitable one for you. Because 
you 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 uh, always citing that uh, journal and meaning that you have the inclination towards that journal then why don't you uh, try to publish there uh, especially if it's a q1 ke ataupun ya lah q2 punya uh, journal kan uh, and then uh, as i mentioned tadi impact factor if you already give that journal five citations then it's good for the journal lah uh, so baguslah uh, just uh, go ahead with uh, trying to send it there lah and then uh, younger articles in yeah, less than five years some journals memang have percent eh? so they say okay 80 percent or 70 percent of the uh, cited articles uh, from the 20 references to maybe uh, you have to be five years uh, less than five years to show uh, is trending and uh, don't suka trend trend uh, yang trending ni, kan? okay, another thing uh, ni pun inside the tip lah eh? so, uh, you want to send a journal and then uh, during the uh, uh, submission process, they will ask you, okay, suggest two or three uh, reviewer to review your thing and it cannot be around you, lah. it cannot be a supervisor, it cannot be from the same university. Uh, so, kadang-kadang they say, cannot be from, uh, uh, not all from the same country. So, if you say one in Malaysia, another one from Europe, ke, another one from America. Kan. So, macam mana kan? I, I don't, I'm new in this field. I don't know any uh, professors in this field. And I know my supervisor, my professor, but uh, otherwise, I, uh, yeah. so the easiest way, look at your reviewers, look at how uh, some of the names that has been, you, you have referred to that uh, author several times. So uh, let's say you have 20, you have, or you look at it, oh, uh, this Mr. Lee, I think, Five times, I already cited him five times. Uh, suggest that name. Go and find his uh, credentials and from which university, uh, his email, you you uh, suggest to him. And uh, reasoning, uh, you, you just say because he's an expert in his field. Yeah. Why? There are two. One, uh, make sure your uh, review, uh, finding a review easier. Lah, kan? Already have the list at bawah too, and just find uh, the, the most one. The other one goes back to this because they do it for free. Tau. Uh, reviewers do it for free. Once, let's say, uh, be in the, the review punya seat. Lah, kan? I see a review, uh, uh, review request. Can you review this paper kan? in my email? Okay. Oh, hey, this is my title. Uh, this is my research. Kan? Exactly my research. Oh, quite interesting. I want to see the, the uh, new trend. Kan? So I agree. Okay, I want to become the reviewer. Kan? Because you are expert in that, okay. Let's say you are a professor in that field, kan? and you are exactly in that particular field. So you uh, agree to review. And one thing you will go uh, because we are narcissistic, punya ni lah kan, people lah kan. <laughs> what we'll do is we go to uh, the reference. Uh, I do it. Uh, some editors also they they also already uh, ni lah kan. I made it kata they they won't buat kan. You go to the review and you see you try to see your name. Yeah, macam ni, uh, it's like uh, looking at a, macam, uh, a group photo and you look at yourself in your muka ni. That's human, human nature lah kan. Uh, a group photo, you look where, where am I? I don't care about other people, where am I? So it's same thing here. When you, he knows uh, that's his feel, so he agree to, to review. You go scroll down to the reference and he see his name. Right. Oh. He cited me three times. Right. As a reviewer, lah, wouldn't you rasa macam bunga-bunga kan? Oh, he knows that I, I'm a, an expert in this field. Lah, kan? He's citing me three times. Uh, so that's the beauty of trying to suggest reviews from your reference. Kalau negative, you just pick, oh, I don't know lah kan. Uh, search in Google, pick somebody and then put. And then, uh, unfortunately, his name is not in the list kan. He's an expert in that field. Uh, dah agree. And then I say, eh, aku punya nama tak ada. Aku number one kot. Uh, I'm a professor in this field. I'm number one. He doesn't even uh, cite one of my paper. And then, whatever, uh, of course lah, uh, uh, apa, he cannot reject just because of that. Tapi you have to understand the human psychology. Okay? If your name is not there, even though you are an expert, then maybe you, you become a little bit Inilah irritated lah kan. Otherwise, uh, kan, the flip side, if you you already have your, uh, you see your name there, oh, three times, five times kan. 
do you think he's going to uh, reject that paper? Uh, yeah, that if if you uh, if that paper is uh, published, he get four citation from that particular paper. Kan? Uh, so if I will, kalau macam saya, if if it was me, I'd go. Oh, this paper want me to uh, want to cite my name four times. Okay, psychologically, even though the paper is very bad in quality, yeah, let's say very bad quality, I will still recommend uh, accept with major revision. Uh, so I won't outright say no, oh, I reject. Yeah. The same thing lah. Like, if you, you don't have your name there, and then you see oh, apa, you very bad quality, yeah, I reject, reject. I, I don't want to waste my time. But if you have four name in that paper and you know if it's published you get four citations uh, then you have like a ni lah uh, weightage to to consider ni lah kan that paper eh boleh faham eh so human psychology sebenarnya we are all humans and we do it for free pun benda ni kan so you have that incentive to do that and then why not and this is a very valuable gem that I got from Canada Okay, uh, lastly, um, last bit mana ni? Tapi apa lah kita mungkin uh, I'll just stop here. Good. Uh, what about GPT and uh, Chat GPT? So there are two schools of thought. Uh, some academician, especially yang yang uh, older generation, so I uh, think this is ni lah. This is uh, uh, apa, uh, not upholding the integrity of academia and uh, this is macam ni lah. It's bad lah, bad for academia, uh, there's integrity, uh, will suffer, things like that kan. There's another school of thought uh, saying that, uh, why not? Uh, it's, it's a technology, let's embrace it kan. Uh, which one, which one are you? <laughs> which one are you? Ke ada, ada sebuah yang kata, never use the ChatGPT, don't, don't use it at all kan. Ada lah. Awak ni pemalas kan. <laughs> okay, second school eh. Um, Mr. Khalil. Okay, I'm in mean the second school as well. Easy je, uh, just to compare. So let's say people before before Google search kan. Uh, what they do is they, they look in journals yang hard copy. Kan? Go to library, look at journal kan. During my my late father's uh, PhD journey pun also he even type, type writer kan. So now you have a new technology of Google. Maybe during that time, maybe also the same thing. Uh, there's an uproar lah kan. Nanti, oh, senang lah macam tu kan. Look at Google, you get all the information. So this thing is happening again lah. ChatGPT yeah. makes our life way easier uh, with uh, ni kan, uh, searching lah kan. So it's a apa, uh, Google search with their steroids lah kan. Uh, uh, and it's a technology that will not uh, revert, revert back kan. They can, we go apa the technology will still maintain so if you don't embrace yang chat gpt then uh, you will get uh, ni lah go behind lah kan or i'm a firm believer of uh, ni doing by myself and then uh, apa uh, no chat gpt kan then uh, maybe nanti satu masa nanti ni uh, orang orang boleh publish a lot but you still uh, lacking it. so um, this is my own opinion yang uh, i mean school second school of thought lah kan so, uh, apa guna uh, use ChatGPT but uh, ni lah. Of course, there's uh, ni lah. There's uh, apa uh, uh, two sides of the sword kan. Uh, so uh, you 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 can use it for uh, ni for good and also for bad things. So of course, try to uphold integrity juga lah in this case. Okay. Uh, one thing I I want you to if you are not familiar with ChatGPT, please do so. Is changing rapidly and now it's uh, uh, chat GPT 4 depan ni kata 5 and kata kalau dah 5 ni lah memang dah change the world lah macam tu kan dia punya uh, ni lah uh, effect dia kan but uh, in terms of uh, trying to get the information chat GPT one thing you have to understand kadang-kadang tu uh, ni lah a lot of complaints the, the, the reference uh, apa wrong the facts are wrong and so you have to be very careful on that lah you have to filter yourself uh, but how to use uh, ChatGPT tu, you have to also understand about incremental prompting. Uh, incremental prompting, meaning you have to give them some situational condition in order for that to, to max, in order for you to maximize the use of ChatGPT lah kan. So this, uh, I think, uh, uh, there's available lah in the, in the internet kan. Uh, contoh, uh, call it a ChatGPT cheat sheet. So you have to define the ChatGPT rule first. ChatGPT role kan. 
So you want it to act as a what? Uh, consultant ke? As, as a academician ke? So it will fine tune the original ni kan? From the chat tu, okay. Chat GPT understand that he's a uh, apa, lecturer macam tu kan? He's a professor, Harvard University professor macam tu kan? You can actually uh, give that particular role to ni kan? Chat GPT. So then, dia punya discussion after that becomes uh, apa, tuned towards uh, ni lah, how a uh, how would you the professor punya ni kan uh, and then uh, how you ask them to explain explain clearly uh, explain like i'm five years old things like that what do you explain with examples uh, so prompting is a very very powerful tool lah in chat if you don't know how to use that then uh, you, know, you will just get a generic punya answer lah, which is you know, uh, uh, just so you know uh, in, uh, in, in terms of uh, article i think Introduction, you can uh, benefit a lot lah to improve your introduction uh, using a uh, ChatGPT methodology. Uh, maybe a little bit quite specific for your ni kan. Uh, uh, per, but uh, the results, result not really sure. Introduction lah, especially particularly ni kan introduction or you want to do a literature review. I think it will help you a lot. Uh, but in terms of discussion too, it's still us. Uh, I'm a firm believer. Uh, ni lah. AI tak sampai lagi uh, to our level and so uh, if in terms of discussion tu I think from now on uh, the viewers pun don't really care sangat lah pasal introduction because they know maybe uh, already chat GPT uh, work kan uh, apa, so maybe they look at into the result think of the discussion whether it has good quality or not uh, so from there tu yang they, they decide lah whether they want to accept or not eh. this is my, my ni lah Uh, just so you know, in academia, already starting lah to acknowledge ChatGPT. So, contoh APA, dia ada tulis, you can write, you can cite a ChatGPT response as a personal communication. In the answer, it give you are not retrievable for other users. Which is true, kan? Uh, cite it like this, uh, ChatGPT, personal communication, February 11, tu tak <laughs> Dah ada, uh, apa, APA setelah punya uh, ni, uh, formatting ni, uh, they, they acknowledge ChatGPT. Uh, others, I'm not really sure. Uh, personally, saya tak pernah guna lagi lah for paper, but for macam uh, run publication kan. Uh, so ada true to how, how to define my tu lah. I, I use uh, check duty. Uh, okay, sebab the idea is still from us. Cuma uh, we are asking the uh, ni lah check duty for help in terms of polishing dia kan. Uh, still from us juga. Okay. Uh, Asalnya tak sempat lah nak, nak, nak go uh, yang lain ni Tapi I hope uh, Even that uh, We have around 7 minutes Maybe uh, kalau ada Q&A ke Rizky uh, Yeah, if uh, anyone want to ask Siapa-siapa nak tanya Rasanya Kan uh, ke doktor nak terus ke Q&A Atau nak sama lagi uh, Itulah uh, up to you Tapi uh, saya rasa terpaksa uh, empat juga uh, berhenti lah kan uh, yeah, maybe uh, uh, saya go a uh, little bit down uh, let's say kalau uh, saya nak buat this uh, ni pun tak ada masalah I'm uh, I'm a firm, firm believer in ni lah sharing knowledge kan so you uh, apa that you get benefit from what I, I uh, share then saya dapat pahala kan especially bulan Ramadan kan So uh, bawah ni I have uh, sending articles, sending your article. So I, I just go through quickly lah. Right? Uh, so how to find the right journal for your article. So there are journal finders. Eh? Uh, so you can put your abstract. Then uh, the the journal, uh, the publisher can suggest. Oh, this is material design. Uh, this is also good for you. Uh, this is also good for you. And uh, then you can take a look there. The publication process also uh, need in my book as well and so uh, what you uh, you can expect and it's a long road juga lah kan it's not just okay hantar you get uh, reject or accepted so there are a few things uh, to go through lah uh, additional things you need uh, for your transcript so you have your manuscript your article tapi not that's not uh, only that lah and you have cover letter you have uh, this highlight prime novelty kadang tu they ask for Uh, graphic abstract, credit, declaration of interest, things like that. Uh, to for review process ni, they will ask you maybe uh, ni lah comments to reviewers again. Uh, highlight one by one. Okay, comment number one. What did you uh, did you do any apa uh, 
clarification ke apa kan uh, if it gets rejected again don't take it personally i get rejected a lot uh, much more than i get accepted kan uh, so you learn from that so, jangan jangan rasa nilah kan down kan uh, maybe it's just because the the general scope tak kena kan okay uh, if technical issues then you can learn from it the first reaction always hurts the most lah <laughs> rasa <laughs> oh sakitnya tu di sini kan tapi uh, once you uh, ni dah jadi lali lah ya. ok kena reject ok go to the next one uh, if uh, major revision uh, so this is uh, when it's major revision meaning uh, ada possibility to accept juga tapi you have to ni lah make a revision kan so uh, the first day tu jangan nak buat lagi just uh, relax dulu kan just fikir-fikir dulu baca and fikir-fikir And then do minor ones first. Kalau ada sepuluh tu, tengok yang yang mudah-mudah tu. Ah. Edit yang mudah. Add this reference. Ah. Tambah je lah kan. So dah, set cancel satu. So dia tinggal yang susah-susah sikit yang belakang tu. So uh, you get momentum lah. Uh, I'm giving you actually here one example of uh, ni lah what I got. Ada satu tu uh, review paper memang kena 20 komen. Komen pula memang pedah-pedah. Kan? Quality of writing is poor. Juga. Quality of writing is poor level of criticality is insufficient. <laughs> nah, memang kena bantai tapi you, you must, you must uh, understand dia tak tak reject uh, dia, uh, this panel didn't reject my uh, paper and dia bagi major correction with details now. Uh, so I really walaupun sakit sakit hati juga dengar kan tapi uh, you you I, I appreciate him he's taking the time in order for, uh, for uh, in order for me uh, to, to teach me how to do proper literature review how to do review paper kan ha, dia bagi detail oh ni salah ni awak oh, patut kena buat macam ni buat macam ni kan so, oh ok and I revamp around 2 weeks time uh, submit back uh, accepted is one of the most uh, cited paper for me lah uh, around 100 something lah eh sorry uh, near me 100 uh, tak, saya, saya baru pun mula kan tak ada lah review pun lagi uh, uh, ni lah uh, this is one of the, the highly cited paper lah for me kan So sebab uh, this particular reviewer doing it for free took the time for, uh, to discuss uh, or to to teach me. Eh. So I really uh, you know, admire that lah kan. Tengok oh, banyak ni. Dia memang bagi 20. 20 comments. Addressing review comments. So uh, also this lah maksudnya kadang add more reference, kadang to revision, uh, add value to paper. Kadang tu uh, dia bagi suggestion. Oh betul juga kan. Eh. Then we oh, tambah dan boleh boleh add value to the to the paper. And then clarification. So kadang-kadang tu dia salah faham. So kita kena bagi clarification juga. Uh, okay. And then uh, lastly, uh, this is my Facebook group. Uh, so it's called uh, discuss diskusi perancangan PhD by design. It's uh, in Malay lah. Okay. So unfortunately, kalau you, you know, uh, I mean uh, if you're not non Malaysian, uh, feel free to join. But uh, ni lah, uh, it's in Malay lah language inside but you are uh, invited to join, to join. this uh, is not uh, updated lah, it's actually now it's 3,000 something members lah already kan ada lah, coming to 3 years lah uh, I discuss a lot of these things inside there lah kan Some, sometimes uh, people ask me, oh ni macam mana tu kan so I uh, uh, jawab balik lah kan dalam tu or sometimes ni lah yang cerita pasal publication ke PhD kan ni sekadar eh. Ah tu uh, totally free. Tak ada tak ada apa-apa ni lah. Uh, and also if you are a student, if you are a student body kan uh, macam postgraduate punya committee ke apa ke, uh, I'm actually happy to ni lah share my knowledge ni kan. Ah uh, benda ni saya tak bawa ke kubur kan. Kalau saya meninggal esok saya tak boleh bawa ke kubur. So this kind of uh, information ni kalau boleh saya nak nak uh, engage ataupun sebar ke di luar I've done a couple lah a lot of uh, engagement with the, the ni lah from UTHM pun ada U, uh, UITM ada uh, uh, macam apa Mara pun pernah buat kan and I try to compile lah yang all this information sebelum ni saya buat dalam the, the group uh, punya tu tu I, I compile it in this book kan seni menulis artikel jenis So let's say you're not interested in uh, talks yang panjang pula kan. Uh, you want a macam kind of a guidebook then you can also add uh, ni lah. Yeah, you can consider yang sini-sini artikel jenis ni. First talk saya dah habis. <laughs> Sold out. 
akan menunggu uh, second and uh, second stock lah maybe seminggu dua lagi insyaallah seminggu raya pun akan ada sampai lah. Uh, okay, uh, thank you Mr King. Uh, otherwise, thank you very much. Uh, kalau tak ada soalan, saya berhenti di sini. In case ada soalan, kita silakan lah. Silakan, Dr. Siti. Ada soalan nak chat ke apa ke nak? Sekejap ya. Okay everyone. Okay. Uh, you, can you hear me? Tidak terdengar. Dengar? Uh, ni lah. Putus-putus. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, doktor dengar saya. Boleh dengar? Dengar. Dengar. Okay. <laughs> Hey, okay. Uh, so, uh, ada apa-apa soalan lagi sebelum kita uh, akhiri session ni? Tak ada. Okay, saya uh, sekejap saya punya ni ah uh, hang. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, actually, uh, um, kalau tak ada, uh, so saya rasa chat dekat ni um, tak ada. Tapi saya sebenarnya ada beberapa soalan juga untuk yeah. doktor. Okay, um, kalau tengok ni chat ni setakat ni tak ada lah kan. Tapi saya ada beberapa, tak ada lah sikit je. Okay, um, mungkin saya terlepas uh, tadi uh, yang pasal hmm. Awal-awal lagi uh, soalan yang jenis A atau jenis B hmm. yang mana impact factor tinggi uh, tapi Q2 je atau impact factor rendah atau Q1, uh, just Q1 je. Ha. So Bagaimana? kalau ya yeah, uh, untuk doktor, uh, doktor prefer yang mana ya? So, kalau ikut yang saya uh, punya tadi, uh, you, you should be uh, targeting macam mana? Macam mana? Kalau ikutkan saya punya uh, ni, let's look back here. Uh, this one. So you should be targeting Q1, not the okay. impact factor. Sebab impact factor tu uh, varies according to the field. Uh -huh. uh, target Q1 tu you are you are good to go lah. Kan? Kalau impact factor ni kadang tu nampak nampak rendah je, tapi sebenarnya in that particular field tu uh, very good lah. Okay, mm. okay. Uh, thank you doktor. Uh, satu lagi saya ada, okay berkenaan chat GPT. Mm. Okay kan, uh, biasa chat GPT dia bagi, boleh bagi banyak information kat kita. Dia siap boleh bagi um, reference. Uh, mm. So macam mana kita nak tahu yang uh, yang information yang bagi dekat kita tu uh, valid uh, dan uh, apa link dengan uh, reference tu? Hmm, kena CSV uh, lah kalau macam hmm. mana? Kena kena ni lah do our homework sekarang tu kan. <laughs> uh, sebab memang kena cross check. Uh, kalau you have a, a software jenis macam apa? Apa nama dia? Uh, apa nama? Envivo. Uh, some hmm. some software yang boleh summarize kan? Mungkin dia boleh tolong lah. Otherwise uh, susah nak cakap juga lah. Kena, memang kena cross check. Hmm. So in, in my case sebenarnya saya tak pernah buat lagi jenis paper using ChatGPT. Uh, personally lah kan. Uh, tapi for grant application pernah. Uh, tapi in the end kena, kena check juga. Hmm. So mungkin uh, lepas ni mungkin kita boleh lagi uh, try explore more kan berkenaan ChatGPT. Betul betul. A lot of things. Okay. Okay, so uh, tu je kalau soalan daripada saya dan uh, sebenarnya banyak yang saya nak highlight tapi masa kita memang uh, <laughs> dah <laughs> dah sentuh wow. tapi kan uh, apa berkenaan dengan topik hari ni uh, apa, terima kasih banyak uh, doktor kerana bagi kami uh, 
sangat informatif uh, guideline lah untuk kita buat paper macam mana nak encourage diri buat paper kan so sebab kita semua kat sini memang kena produce paper kalau yeah. kita dah dalam research memang sampai bila-bila pun kita kena produce paper kan so yeah. thank you so much uh, uh, doctor for very informative and meaningful session lah kan Mm-hmm. Dan juga uh, saya nak ucapkan terima kasih kepada uh, participant kita, uh, pada audiens kita uh, uh, kerana ya yeah, <laughs> sampai uh, akhir uh, bersama-sama. <laughs> so sebelum tu kita uh, ambil gambar dulu lah. So yeah. saya encourage untuk buka kamera. Okay, so sini ada dua slide, okay. Uh, sekejap ya. Okay, saya bagi masa untuk buka kamera. Okay, uh, sekejap. Okay. Satu, dua, tiga. Sekejap. Oh, one more. Okay, one more. Okay, satu, dua, tiga. Okay, I think uh, that's all for today. Uh, dan terima kasih semua. Terima kasih Dr. Lukman. Terima kasih semua mm-hmm. audiens sebab adik, uh, sebab join kami hari ini. Uh, thank you so much. I think uh, saya akhiri uh, yeah. kita punya session dengan uh, Wabillah Tuan 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 Tuan